<laughs> hey, check it out, Holmes. Magrito Podcast Network presents, eh? Ay, wey. Chicano Chofo Tomando chelas Chingando tacos Having some fun Chicano Chofo All kinds of masa Bernie's all nervous Give him a beer Or two Chicano Chofo Este es el lazo Just lost a fan Oh well to shit Oh shit Chicano Chofo Ramon's el guapo He tells good stories Let's interrupt We we Chicano Chofo We love our fans We hope you like this If not oh well Not a steps Hola Raza! Today's Chicano Shuffle episode is brought to you by Manscaped. The Lamor 4.0 from Manscaped is the only electric body hair groomer you need to keep your manhood looking trim, neat, and clean. Alright? No hay otra. Three They're, qualifiers. Eh? Yeah, son fucking. Alberto now son fucking fayuca, chafas. <laughs> All right. No matter what length you choose, you can be sure to get the even trim. Plus, the lawnmower 4.0 features rust-proof ceramic snapping blades for hygiene and sharpness. Ay, wey. Yeah. Did you say sharpness or sharpness? Well, you know what? Si quieres el tiburón que esté pinche afilado, órale. Ay, wey, íralo. <laughs> I'm ready for that one. Uh, the trimmers are designed for below the waist grooming, but work great on your not-so-private parts, too. With the skin-safe replaceable blade, you can have multiple blades ready for all body areas with hair. Feel more confident, comfortable, and healthy with a total grooming experience. In case you have those, those yeah. fucking hairy ass ankles. Fuck the ankles. I mean, también la espalda. I mean, I see the fools que... Yeah, veces... but how do you do your back one? Yeah, you get a little fucking attachment. Hey, we should make the attachment. No. You know, like a back scratcher, but with the fucking... the, 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 the 4.0 on it? I know, pero... Yeah, está cabrón, güey. Nice. I mean, I might, I might fucking might need the beer hedger for that one. Will. Yeah, but I mean, they also have the ear and nose trimmer too. Because I mean, let's be honest, we're heavy motherfuckers. Ah, we're some pinche Latinos, man. Yeah, uh, but we're no. We, I mean, unless you you're hairless like a cholo squinkle, then yeah, this this message is not for you. That the wrong way. Yeah, but it'd be nice if you have it there for you know. Para que digan, ah, este güey se, a propósito se, se, se depila todo, güey. Hi. All right. So, don't forget, get 20% off free shipping with the code Chicano Shuffle. One word. Manscaped.com. That's 20% free shipping at Manscaped.com. Promo code Chicano Shuffle. Unlock your confidence and always use the right tools for the job with Manscaped. La, y la batería lasts a good while, too, güey, because I, I just put it to charge fucking last week, güey. Oh, no, yeah, la mía, like, I mean, I use it... I, I mean, I don't say I use it once a week. I don't even think. Oh, well, maybe maybe yeah. that's why it lasted me a chingo. Way. Yeah, but I use I, it once a week. I mean, I was still on the wood, the first charge way. Yeah. The charge it came with. I gotta. I do use the the beard trimmer a lot though. 
The beard trimmer? Fuck yeah. Comes in clutch, bro. Fuck yeah. And I like it because it's got the adjustable fucking um, clip. The rodita. Yeah, so like that, 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 you know. I go higher, and if I don't like it, I just go one down, you know, so I already have it down. For us Rucones, though, one suggestion, make those numbers a little bigger, no? <laughs> <laughs> All right. You got to fucking... <laughs> <laughs> you call your kids, hey, can you say he? <laughs> what if you don't have kids, right? Uh, <laughs> you take a picture yeah, of me and you zoom in. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> the old school way. Man. Yeah, that's that's what I do. Like if I forget my glasses and I go somewhere and I got a menu, I take a picture of the menu and then I zoom in. Oh shit, bro! <laughs> Fucking, I know. Fucking boomer problem. Life bro. hacks, bro. That's Bo- what that is. That's a boomer hack. Life <laughs> hacks. <laughs> that's, that's a boomer, boomer hack. hack. He goes, I take out my flip phone. <laughs> <laughs> At least I don't have a magnifying glass. Yeah, no, that's crazy. I've seen uh, that. <laughs> yeah. Um, also, Rasa. <laughs> <laughs> the Chicago Show for Podcast is also brought to you by Firme Mezcal. So, I was like, doing this little research and how they make uh, the mezcal. But it's a Jalisco way if you should have an idea, no? No, I mean, I, honestly, I mean, nomás porque soy de Jalisco, I don't know cómo hacen pinche barbacoa o birria. Oh, wow. Well, uh, you're living life, you're, no, I'm saying you're living life wrong then. With. I guess, I mean, I know, I know some things, but not a lot of them. But the it starts off with cooking of the piña. It's the heart of the agave and fermenting its juice with practice. The origin of this drink has a myth. It's said that a lightning bolt struck the agave plant, cooking it and opening it to releasing its juices. For this reason, the liquid is called the elixir of the gods. No oh, shit, is that where it comes from? Yeah. Lightning? El, el elixir de los dioses. Shit. Mezcal can give you a euphoric and energized feeling. O sea, si te sientes cachondo y pinche prendido. Maybe we should have a little bit more this Mezcalito, morning, bro. Some sources point to the mild hallucinogenic properties as a primary cause for this elation. A more likely reason for this is that the mezcal is pure. There aren't any additives or sweeteners and it's 0% carbs. So, para todos los que están on, on the keto diet, fucking, denle gas al pinche mezcal. But don't, I, don't shoot it. You gotta sip it. Porque si no, no, no te pega el efecto. Yeah. You know? Y como dicen, hasta la cruz with firme mezcal. Hi, wait. Oh, shit, bro. Did you get a job with them? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I know, he's doing research. Like, like he has a job interview he's coming like, up. He's right. speaking like a company man now, bro. I know. Top wait. dollar. <laughs> Last week, he was reading straight off the lines, remember? <laughs> off the cuff, wait. Now, now he's got fucking history, intel. It's la bebida de los dioses, güey. It's el elixir de los dioses. I knew that part, but I didn't know the part about the lightning, wait. Yeah, fucking un pinche rayo. Imagínate, güey, eres el cabrón fucking digging around y te salvaste, güey. Yeah. Y le dio la pinche piña. That, that might also be donde empezó the, for the homies, ¿no? Porque el, <laughs> <laughs> quedó no. un cuate allí, güey. No, pues a pinche Felipe, pues lo agarró el pinche la, el rayo, güey. A el tizoca quedó, güey. <laughs> el rayo, le agarró. <laughs> le agarró la raya. Le, le agarró la raya. El... <laughs> Pobre that, that's when the nectar of the gods would mean something else if you're in the call way. I know. Ahí se te agarran la raya. Shit, wey. Misinterpretation, eh? Y te dejan rayado, wey. Te dejan bien rayado, wey. So, no se los olvide, raza. Give a firme mezcal a follow. Check them out on Instagram. Yeah, on Instagram, firme mezcal.com. Yeah, check them out. Give them a follow. See what they're all about. You know, and then. Go give it a try. You, you. I mean, even Esteban liked the way. So yeah, no, I'm not. I'm not just fucking being saying this because we got a company man next to me, way. But it was it was fucking tasty, way. <laughs> yeah. yeah, it was good. Um, check go check out House of Chingasos. They got FEMA shirts, as you can see. Fernie sporting, or, maybe or you like see, you can't see, but Fernie is sporting El Borracho Chingón por vida. <laughs> I, I, I got the email a little late, way. Puro pinche party. <laughs> yeah, he's got a hat too. Or he's yeah. fucking yeah. company yeah. man. He's dude. a he's a fucking NASCAR. I'm NASCAR <laughs> fucking sponsored, bro. No más nos falta fucking Adidas. We need a shoe, a shoe fucking manufacturer. Fuck well, okay, yeah, Fernie. No sé, uh, what is it? Fucking yeah, los calcetines is uh, the damn Fernie. You fucking styling today. Bro, okay. you gotta watch. watch your watch. Well, that, Father's Day way. You got some fucking nice pants on, way. That's oh, a Father's Day watch. It's the Father's Day fucking gift. Nice. Oh, yeah. Correteadas. Holy shit, dude, this guy looks legit. Fuck yeah, bro. It's okay. We need pantalones más frescos. It's fucking hot oh, today. He had to throw all the shit. I'm losing so much weight. I do need a whole new wardrobe, way. Pero, dole el codo, way. 
No vas a agarrar la. You don't know how long it's gonna last either, way. Y esos little paper clip ones. I know, güey. Take it to the ñora to fucking take off a few inches. Take off. Ay, güey, hold on. No, güey, al revés, no. Dice, no es lo único que se ve bien, güey. That's all I got, bro. If you want everything from me. No mames, güey. Calmado, calmado. So, yeah, no se les olvide. If you need a whole new wardrobe, go check out House of Chingazos. They got all kinds of camisas for this type of weather, you know, cool weather. You want to, you know, just want to wear a light t-shirt, give them a try. Start a conversation, icebreaker. Fucking, it's a perfect example. It's a perfect reason to go get yourself one. All right. And no se les olvide también su tacita de café with Istasa coffee. All right. Estamos para la orden. We roast to order. So place your orders and you'll get a fresh batch. Y con eso... Comenzamos. Con eso comenzamos. Yeah. yeah I gotta, you know, just get this out of the way, you know, get, get the information out y ya. Ya podemos comenzar con las pendejadas. It's getting, yeah. a, little, it's getting a little long, eh? Actually, I don't think it was this, this one was long at no. all. No? I don't think so. Feels long. Ay, we, hey, ah. pero, uh, maybe we need a fucking, you need an alternate intro song, wey, porque ya como que la canta sin, sin gusto, ¿no? Like, yeah, right, bro. I noticed that too, wey. Yeah. Es que no, no se quiere dañar la voz, dice, güey. It, it hurts my fucking throat doing that. I'm not saying, no, yeah, I'm not saying you don't have to do fucking your metal voice or whatever you want. <laughs> what is that, way? Should we retire the song already? Is it time? I think, yeah, you know what? After the 300. Ya la está cantando Ramón sin ganas, güey. After the 300, I think we should retire it. And then what? Not have anything? Just fucking, I don't know, we could have like... You know, we could do, what we could do is like maybe the instrumental, have a little recording and Fernie could place it in and then, yeah, and then fun, we jump way. in. How about just make a shorter one, Wim? How? A modernized fucking, pues yo ya no pisteo as much. This guy doesn't <laughs> piss as many people off anymore, Wim. Like, it needs an update, no? <laughs> That's true. That's a good point. <laughs> hey, you, don't tell, I mean, you, you don't tell great stories anymore, Wim. <laughs> No, I don't. I wasn't going there, pero... I still get interrupted. Oh, for sure. Yeah. But that's part of the... Si no, no voy a podcast, güey. Yeah, fucking... No chinchelas. Tacos, pues chingamos tacos. Yeah, we don't eat tacos like... No, nah, puros pinches burritos de hace como, güey. Uh, yeah, puro breakfast burrito, güey. Puros todos enojados, güey. Que no les gusta. And you keep fucking supporting that business. <laughs> Every Saturday they come in with a burrito. And, it's and then, it, you know what it is. We're comparing it to the X. And then today I heard them fucking complaining about it. And they, I see that they were eating it the way Fernie says he's singing the song. Wait, I'm like, <laughs> all right, yeah, all right, yeah, yeah. Like, why are you going? Wait, if it's not good. Wait, no, I mean, it's the tradition, eh? It's, it's not that it's not good. Wait, it's just like we said. It's, it's, it's okay. It's, it's always, it always changes. It's okay. It's okay. Wait, it's it's not the worst, and it's not the best. Digo que, I think it all started though, like you, like you said, when you fucking, ya los conoces, like you were like, yeah. ya los conoces, Ramon. And I was like, wait, this guy doesn't even want to go inside. <laughs> I think it's, I think it's one of those, those, those things, pues, que ah, pues no va a durar, wey, we're only going to be a couple oh, okay. weeks. Why invest? I, I don't want to invest my time in, in this relationship. <laughs> I get it. So that maybe that, that affects, I mean, the taste that you're yeah, like, Yeah, for mm. sure, wey. Like, no quiero que me guste, because <laughs> then we're, we're just going to lose another one. You com you're comparing it to the ex, wey, that's for sure. <laughs> and Esteban's not like, was, what, what's wrong with the burritos? ¿Qué le falta? It's not made with love, bro. ¿Qué no le falta? It's not made with love, at least over there con el Abel y la Cristina, they used to hook it up, you know, you you get to start haciendo el burrito just for you. They're using a cheese supposedly that doesn't melt. That's according to these guys. <laughs> Pretty generic, no? <laughs> <laughs> the food is warm, but the cheese is not melted. Yeah, I, don't I don't know how you explain that. I don't know. And yeah. I'm saying, is that the, the, the fucking cheese generic one? Can us yeah, not fucking. real cheese? Or I don't know. It's probably not real cheese. Either. It's funny like when the whole fucking the meat in the lab thing came out. I'm like, wait. Everything's fucking made in the lab. Right? <laughs> fucking <laughs> chemists work for McDonald's, KFC, all these fucking uh, yeah. the lemon pepper that you dip in ranch. All that shit was made by a chemist. Right? Yeah, every, every time you could primero la carne, now it's the chicken. No, they made chicken. Yeah. And then, yeah, it's it the same thing. Que what, what do you think? I go, what, what, what do you think? think? Taco Bell is not real meat. <laughs> Dude, the, not even the beans. It's fucking powder. Where they just add water. How many gallinas you, have you seen that come out like the pollo loco in the KFC? How yeah. <laughs> perfect. But you, you've seen those chemists, right? They start fucking yeah, yeah, yeah. mixing shit to make fucking habanero sauce flavors and shit. Like, I just think it's funny how people are like, 
What do you think about this? Like, this has been happening for a long ass time. <laughs> 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 you know, but what is it? The red dye number five is cancerous. <laughs> 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 no way. What the fuck? <laughs> what one of those? No, one of the colors. Yeah, fucking yeah, so like Ca- fifteen, twenty what years. Uh, What's the word? Carcin- carcinogenic. Yeah. yeah, they said that. I read this thing that aspartame was going to be considered that. No, that was the. It was something in Europe, but that that one, the 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 one that classifies those things, pretty much gives it gives four ratings. Three of them is that they potentially fucking cause cancer. One only one of them is like for sure doesn't cause. So it's like possibly, maybe, and then like for sure. But yeah. they don't. But they don't. They don't do like the. They don't do the the the, the science or the math. Que, like how much of it do you need to drink or or eat or whatever that que, que it it will cause that effect. They just tell you oh. May maybe, cause. maybe it may cause. I mean, I don't think they. Could, I mean, you can't tell somebody how many cigarettes you're gonna smoke to get cancer. I don't think they can gauge that way. I no, just but think they, be careful with but it. The, I mean, but their stats, boys, like that, like. But you can't. You can't tell somebody you don't smoke a thousand cigarettes because that'll give you cancer. It's just there's people that smoke their whole lives and never get cancer. I know, but it's it's kind of like the like when they think to become a a pro or whatever thousand what a ten thousand hours or something like that, boys. Yeah. Whatever that is, like like for like you don't reach that number and all of a sudden you're. Yet as maestro, like a ma- fucking a master at that shit, you know, like some people maybe hit before, some people after, but I mean, you you can get ballparks, way. But cancer, pues, that that. I mean, they're getting closer, way. I mean, teams. <coughs> I think the the, the pills, like we always talk about, with it's something that they probably don't want to. Nothing in prisa to cure, no. Yeah, no. I mean, even I, I think even if there was a cure, I don't think people would really. It's lifestyle changes, way. It has a lot to do with it. But I don't. I think if there was a cure way, they would want it to be in a pill form, and that's the only way people eat yeah, it. Up. And it and have to be like fucking Rogaine. You got to take it forever, no? Because I honestly think, yeah. But I honestly think that if there was a cure, and they would easily fucking throw a fucking conspiracy theory at it that the pharmacy, uh, the pharmaceuticals, and everybody still makes money, and people eat all that up. Where oh yeah, that's fucking bullshit, or that's this and that. I really don't think that in this this society that we're in right now, if there was some cure that came out, that people would even believe it. There would be, they would get so much press that it's uh, some conspiracy theory shit that it would just get brushed off. Where I don't think we're in that in that place anymore. El pinche highway. Yeah, that gets crazy. Way. Yeah, I mean, it's, we can go deep down that rabbit hole, no? <laughs> yeah. I mean, all I know is that fucking KFC has been doing the fucking fake chicken. For fucking what twenty years now? A little bit, little late to worry. I mean, yeah, I mean, it's fucking <laughs> they grow the chickens without heads. I think it was. Dude, look, look at the fucking chicken wing nugget. You remember that that per, that pink fucking dough looking oh, video yeah, that yeah, came yeah, out yeah, a few yeah, years yeah, ago? Yeah, yeah. Did it stop people from fucking eating chicken? Nah, wing I fucking I, I watched it while I ate my chicken nuggets. <laughs> like fuck, dude, that asco. <laughs> I saw I saw a guy on TikTok like a year or two ago fucking say that the, the, the where he works. They they get uh, donations. They make a uh, like like uh, food for like the livestock, like pigs and stuff. And he was showing at his company. They get like donations of old bread and shit. And they were putting like the bread with con todo el plastic in the fucking thing that made it into powder. <laughs> and he was like, "Look, this is this is what they're feeding the pigs and this and that." And I mean, we still eat carnitas. <laughs> we're like, <"Fuck> it. <laughs> but that's what gives it the sabor, no? <laughs> but I mean, it was literally like like donation of like bread that's about to expire. Y todo lo metían in the thing that made it into a powder with with the plastic, with the fucking little the little clip, the clip, all that shit was in there. Way. Nah, my pedo, way. I've, I've had a little bit of uh, aluminum. <laughs> Mi café, remember? Oh, yeah. <laughs> 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 ¿Dónde fue? Ahí en el cantón, way. So like in the little uh, el moledor de de my grinder for the beans, remember? Uh. I was telling this guy like I go, so I brought took a little bit. I had to fucking clean up the pinchy grinder. Like, so I had, it comes with like a little brush, no, para limpiarle, like to get the stuff out a little bit. But like when, when uh, I've had a few times where it like something gets stuck or fucking a bean or goes the wrong way or some shit. So I had made this little contraction, little tool out of a paper clip way. <laughs> and I kept it in there. Like I put the, the brush and the paper clip in there. And then lo saco, I grind the beans and I put everything back. Así pa, so it's always a la mano. Yeah. That day I took out the brush and I forgot to take out the fucking paper clip. So remolida thing got stuck. And I was like, what the fuck? And I looked at, oh, pinchy paper clip. 
so, pinche parecía gato el cabrón. So I kind of brushed it out, but come on, did I really get all the fucking Probably not. aluminum? La rebaba. No. So hice el café with a little bit of fucking... A little shaving, metal shaving. A couple metal shavings, güey. You, no you heard it first, that he's that's a secret fucking recipe right <laughs> Aluminum. That's his personal... <laughs> that's my personal bat, Chase. Yeah, that's his personal my, that's a coffee bat. Yeah, to drive out here with. I quit coffee, güey, this week. Oh, shit. Really? Yeah, I, didn't, I don't want to drink coffee anymore because it was really affecting, like... um. Cause, Corta el micrófono. <laughs> yeah, yeah, fucking stop this now. Nah, people are different. Weird. But for me, it was really affecting like my sleep, my fucking, my thoughts even. When I started being more sensitive to the caffeine when, and I was like, you know what? I don't know what it is. So I'm going to assume it's the coffee because I started reading some stuff about caffeine and uh, coffee and stuff. And just sometimes the way that it's made, I mean, I'm, I'm pretty bougie way. I started doing Starbucks every fucking day. And so I'm like, you know what? Oh, okay. it's, it's it's better for me to just not drink any caffeine or have any caffeine at all. And so it's been a week, barely. Um, the first couple of days was kind of tough, Wayne. It is, right? Yeah. Headaches? Headaches and like just feeling a little grumpy. And like, you know, I guess that's the, what everybody the says. Pulgas it. and shit. But um, so far, <laughs> it's been a week, way. So we'll see. <laughs> who, who got, who got the, 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 the load of the, of the fucking... Uh, the, the More customers at work. ¿Qué le hicieron esta pinche máquina, hijos de su puta madre? Customers at work. ¿Cuál de ustedes le cambió el pinche fuse aquí, chinga? ¿Quién le puso este cartón aquí? Yeah. Yeah, no, you know what? I mean, I know it's only been a week, wait, but I've been sleeping a lot better, wait. Like, I don't, I'm not restless. Because, you know, that shit stays in your system, wait. Even if... If you drink coffee, like I would drink it in the morning and kind of just sip it. And like by 11, I would still have coffee left. And so by noon, my, my cup was gone. And so by the time I was going to go to sleep, that was still in my system. Eh? So no wonder I was fucking kept tossing and turning and just my mind was active. Was well, yo, yo estoy, I think, on the opposite end, güey. Ya que llegó el pinche summer with the kids at the house, güey. Ya, ya en la tardecita, ya, ya como que me está tocando que hay una tacita más o qué pedo. Uh, yeah. Llegale, güey, llegale. I mean, I've heard people that get really sleepy with coffee, güey. I mean, it just affects people differently. <laughs> Pinche Westside Dave could have it, like, right before bedtime. It doesn't affect them. No, nah, see, I'm not like that, yeah. Right. yeah, I'm not like, I, 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 at a certain point, I couldn't have it after a certain time. Yeah. After five, ya valió madre. Well, see, I, even I drink, I drink my coffee in the afternoon, güey. I don't drink it in the morning. Oh, oh really? Right in the morning, dude. Fuck him. Five well, in the morning. Man, they say that that's the wrong way to do it. Wait. Yeah, I heard that too. Man. Why? Because you're you're, in you're you're using it to block those receptors. Way like before your body fucking reacts. In other words, so you're blocking those receptors, and so that that's when you that you're trying to delay. That's why you get the hard crash later, way. Yeah, I heard the same thing. Man. So like like you're delaying it because you're blocking it immediately as soon as you wake up. Wait. I mean, I'm not drink as soon as I wake up. I'm not drinking it. I get up at four thirty, so an hour later. I'm having fire, my coffee. Fire, an hour later, on, maybe. Yeah. Depends. By like, yeah, by 5:45, yeah, let's do the primer pinche tra traguito. De volada, no, I have it at five in the morning, but I mean, I didn't get specifics because yeah. apparently, I, you know, we're talking specifics talk, today. You're here, we started with science, puto. I, I don't tell good <laughs> stories anymore, so I'm just trying to keep it down. Want to shorten the intro? Want to shorten my time? Ay, güey, uh -huh. oílo, ya se agüitó, güey. Yeah, no, esto se agüitó rápido. Pues gracias, gracias, raza. Ya, yeah, ya estuvo. <laughs> was the Gotta minutes. keep it short. You can't fucking, you can't say anything con esto, güey, because siempre se agüita. <laughs> <laughs> I'm fucking telling you this story, like, it's changing up. I'm like, oh, pues. He's gonna, he's gonna repeat it, like, two or three times this whole episode. Es que I don't tell good stories, so. Yeah, I don't tell <laughs> no, good stories. No, pero es que, he's like, I drink it first thing in the morning. I that's, know, seriously. That, that, that's not how you're supposed to drink it. Oh, well, that's not how I do it. <laughs> <laughs> I start early no in the way. morning. <laughs> I don't have it in the afternoon. At what time are you supposed to drink it? At 10? Simon, I make it at 5, but I drink it at 10. Who's <laughs> la <laughs> chingada? I swear, man. I can't fucking, you know, fucking watch how you speak around this. I think we gotta make a show out of it, wait, no yeah. moment, wait. I know, bro. We can't just let shit go. <laughs> I know. So, yeah, viene, yeah, fucking. Fourth of July, right? This year's no Fourth of July. Yeah. Me agarró por sorpresa, eso sí, güey. Shit, it does, huh? Yeah, dude, this year has been flying, bro. Yeah, it's, it's fucking. This is, every estamos, year goes faster, güey. I mean, ya está summer. Ya pasamos, ya, yeah, ya pasamos la. We already passed the halfway mark. <laughs> yeah. Does it pass? The, is yeah, it, well, Fourth of July, no? Yeah, so, yeah, estamos yeah. in July. Fourth of July, seventh month. Seventh, yeah. Oh, shit. Fucking hey, before you know it, was a pinche Halloween. 
and then fucking Thanksgiving and little Christmas. I don't know if if I if I had a choice to like get rid of one holiday for the July would be it way. Yeah. Uh, I'm yeah. with you, Wayne. Yeah, I'm with you too. Right? Yeah. I mean, but oh, man, we, I'm sure there's fucking. What, what's your reasoning? My my reasoning is that it's too fucking loud. Like, fucking <laughs> my, Boomer talk my reasoning is that <laughs> it affects the dogs. Okay. My mm. reason is that nobody's patriotic, but all of a sudden, fucking Fourth of July comes and everybody yeah, wants yeah, to fucking. Fuck yeah. So I think the. I don't see a point to it, Wayne. Right? There's no, there's no fucking, there's, there's, I try to figure out what the positives of it is. And people say, well, family and this and that. I mean, we got Thanksgiving, you got Christmas. Christmas, I mean. You got El Dia del pa La Paz y el Amor. No, I mean, I got the fireworks. I think that's, that's what does it for me, too. Yeah, ya no, ya no tiene el mismo chiste, no? Yeah, it's not the but same. But I mean, like, when you see, like, like the kids, pues, like, they, they get excited and everything, so you go, all right, it's cool. But, like, for, for <laughs> us, Rucones, already, ya, <laughs> ya, como que a little sparkler, ya no, no? Es que ya, pues, ya, que, güey. And then, then viene, viene, el, viene el jovenzazo con, con los legos, güey. Yeah, or, no, allegedly. That's, that's fucking worse. And then you're, 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 you're that old dude that's like... We should just stuck with the little sparkler room. <laughs> <laughs> you know? Just that's quemando dinero anyways. I know we fuck, we gotta get Yeah, uh, I'm with like with Esteban dude the uh, it's like I would I guess I wouldn't have a problem if it was the day of only. Mm. You know, the day of, okay, at least you know, like, okay, va a ser este día, este día va a ser pinche las tronaderas y todo el desmadre, fine. Okay, you can make you know, you could, you know, especially with your pets, because not just dogs, but I mean, cats freak out. Yeah. You know, it's, they got sensitive ears. Mm -hmm. But then you have babies, newborns, and then you have people with heart problems. Mm -hmm. And some of these fucking fireworks, dude, si te sacan un pinche pedo, wey. <laughs> yeah, some of them are fucking loud. No, pues el pinche, yeah, wey. Porque el otro día that I went on my fucking little, my little nightly fucking, not lightly, because it's not lightly, but pinche, my little, my little jog, caminada, whatever. Mm -hmm. También, güey, se veía pinche truenos, güey. I'm like, oh, shit. Oh, shit, güey. And I was like, what the fuck? Parecía como el pinche gato, güey. Fucking all paniqueado, güey. Yeah. Where's it coming from, man? Yeah, but I mean, you got veterans, uh, like, you know, vets that, that like, have that PTSD and shit. Mm, yeah, that's true. And that fucks with them, too. Yeah. Well, I'm most worried about the world, eh? I am. We need to start a change.org, bro. Get rid of 4th of July. <laughs> so, what about, all, all we got to say is that it's a racist holiday, man. We'll be fucking... Shit, old fucking get it canceled. <laughs> get canceled. <laughs> get that shit canceled. Cancel Fourth of July. We gotta use keywords, bro. That trigger people. <laughs> get, get the trans out of Fourth of July. Uh, yeah. Wow, yeah, los cancelaron con esa. Uh, el otro, el otro día uh, estaba. They get all triggered when I was at a job site. Y ya ves, ahí está la la raza, los paisas, right? Yeah. And they're like, ah, que, que vamos a trabajar el 4 de julio. No, pues se descansa ese día y nos pagan. No, 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 nosotros no nos pagan. Like, oh, fuck. Pero que se celebra, ¿no? Pues que la independencia de los Estados Unidos. Ah, cabrón, ¿hace cuántos años? Ah, son como 300 años, algo así. And I'm just listening. I'm all like, ah. Ya ves. Hay oh, veces shit. que I should stay quiet, but I don't. So I'm all like, eh. Digo, ¿sabe qué? Exactamente son 200. Van a ser 247 años. Ah, no mames. <laughs> What a dick. <laughs> What a dick. Y aquí hablan en inglés que estamos en América. Ay, el electricista va a like, ah, ¿a poco? Sí, porque fue en 1776. A ver, and then they're trying to make the math, right? Like, a ver, no, no, que sabe qué. Ay, ¿cómo salió con ese número? Le digo, bueno, se la va a poner fácil. Yo nací en el 976. Voy a cumplir 47. Entonces, 200 más... 47, 247. Y then, no me creían los cabrones. Mm -hmm. so then, a ver, tú, Jaime, que eres bueno con la pinche matemática. A ver, para acá. Wow. <laughs> tú que fuiste a la escuela. <laughs> <laughs> tú que traes el lápiz, güey. Ven para acá. <laughs> tú que le llegaste a la pinche cuarta. <laughs> yeah. And I'm like, and at some point, I'm like, you know, they got iPhones. They all have iPhones. Oh, shit. Use your fucking iPhone, you know? You do the math. So this was like at a business, like no, a warehouse. No, this was or? at a job site. Yeah, no, it was just like, I guess uh, it was a like a construction build. Mm. You know, so I was just doing my thing. So these these guys are the construction guys. Yeah, but <laughs> Ramon had to inject himself. You wear those blue fucking onesies, way? No, I've seen. Yeah, your fucking your, your comrades. No, <laughs> that's a different department. 
But they, so you guys aren't supposed to wear those? No, yeah, we have them in, unless we need them. Um, but you know, we don't. They they wear them all day. That's their. That's their. Esos know, son los que sí trabajan. That they need a coverall. Those are the guys out, out in the streets. That, those yeah. are the ones that jump in in conversations about. Anyway, so, so now that you're in that way, because I, I used to talk shit. I still do it when I drive around and I see four fucking guys surrounding one guy and everybody's just looking around with it. Is it necessary to have all these people at one site? Well, yeah, because maybe I it toca, know, yeah. toca la situación and I'm not going to say uh, and because not just in that field, in every field. You see the city workers, you see telephone communications, you see water and power, you see all this, right? So you do need the manpower because if you're especially in the street, you need you need traffic control or you need someone que te haga el paro because you yourself can't do it. You need the other vehicles or you need the other cones y que la chingada. So let's say you need the help. You need the, like, que te hagamos el paro. Fernie and I will roll up, but it's your job. So tú haces la chinga. Fernie and I return. was just fucking. To, s- to see what you need? Yeah. Fuck. Be, we're Johnny on the spot. <laughs> Fuck. Yeah. Dude. And if you're there, and then by the time you're doing that, and then you need someone in the other location, then either Fernie goes or I go, and then we could communicate or, mm. you know. So, yeah, hay a veces que la gente ve y dice, estos pinches cabrones no hacen nada. Yeah, so Sometimes bad. there's some downtime. Mm-hmm. There's downtime that you're waiting for, I don't know, a part or equipment or something. So... You just all right. Let's take a let's take a break. I think I think that could probably be said in any field, right? Yeah. Like if you see somebody that's working something that you don't understand and they're not doing much, you probably think that they're just fucking wasting time. Because yeah. that happens to me sometimes. Because I have, I have a bunch of service manuals on my phone that we that we download, so I keep them on my files. And sometimes, when you need to fucking um, when you need to troubleshoot something or, or follow follow like a, the the trail. Then you you go. I get on my phone and I look through like the 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 service fucking handbook or whatever. And so I'm with my phone. And then sometimes you end up customer and and I I'm sure he thinks that I'm just like on TikTok or some shit. The way I'm not viejas encuerados. Yeah, because just the way they talk and and like. Ay, or, or vato encuerados like last time. <laughs> Ay, la cabrón. Yeah, shit like that. Shit like that. It must be nice. Yeah, and I'm like, yeah, it's real nice, bro. And so you fucking yeah, I, I get. I guess anybody can be in that position where where you think that no se nada. Que se están jalando. You know, you see the cops take a break in the fucking star restaurant. Hey, that's the way no se nada. Yeah, that's my fucking tax dollars, <laughs> they, bro. They've been working for fifteen hours. Ahí están aquellos cabrones tronando cuetes y aquí están ustedes muy pinches. Yeah, muy galantes aquí, fucking Chris Little uniform. Yeah, that shit's funny, man. Yeah, it just it, it, yeah, it's it happens. I guess over time you start realizing like yeah, because even in office, I'm sure it happens in office. You know, let's just say fucking you gotta do 500 copies, boss. You set it up. Yes, está haciendo las copias, and you're just chilling on your phone. Pasa alguien like, hey, ¿qué estás haciendo? But there's no no falta always like some petty ass fucking person at work, right? That always sees that and they think that you're not doing what you're supposed to. Luego luego they they either fucking te echan la they rat on you or or they just kind of give you this look. Comienzan los rumores, güey. También, también son los que, the ones that right away fucking assume que ellos hacen el trabajo mejor, ¿no? There's always those, huh, bro? That, but that's what I'm saying, because they, yeah. they see you fucking, oh, pues yo, yo, yo acabé mi jale, puede decir como este güey, or fucking whatever, ¿no? Como, siempre yeah. te agarran ese momento. So, so crazy that that's like a dynamic at work, right? There's always that one or two or even five people that are always... And if, and if you're like, no, mi jale, no. You're that person. Yeah. Mi jale no. No, you're that person. No, but every jale, güey, te, te, te la jalas un poquito, güey. Yeah. There's always those moments. Yeah. You, know, I mean, come you, on. you have downtime. But I mean, no. if, even if you don't, you take a little... T- <laughs> uh, I mean, I ya see. ves, unos días llegas al trabajo motivated to fucking chambear y otros días, pues, yeah, you're, not you're, so much. Yeah, you're lagging it. Yeah. So, I mean, como dices, a veces... It, 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 People see one thing, pues, and then they see it forever in their head, ¿no? Como dice este güey, le lo agarraron, por decir, if it was the same guy que te agarró con los vatos encuerados, the, <laughs> yeah. the buff dudes, yeah. he would, if he saw you again, he would assume you're doing the same thing. Yeah, he's shimmy, on the phone. Pero <laughs> most likely he's looking at the manuals, but because te agarró la una vez, yeah. it's always going to be that thing. Wey. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. What you should do is just fucking just carry one of those big notebooks with nothing in it or from random shit and just open it up and have your phone 
on top of it and scrolling it up. Just se vea. Pa, pa disimular. <laughs> yeah, pa disimular. <laughs> pull, pull a Tommy Lasorda. And the fucker one time. 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 When I was working at the airport, way. rest in peace, Tommy Lasorda. <laughs> I, I hate to fucking ruin your, your, your legacy in, in this beautiful community of ours. But one time, one time I was at the airport, Terminal 4 to be exact. I was inside a gift shop. You know, we used to work fucking uh, delivery magazines and books to these gift shops. And so we had a section that was like pornos way. They, they even made us put like a little fucking black flap yeah, yeah. that would cover it. But if the girl was fucking, uh, uh, if you would just cover like her belly buttons, let me down on the fucking breasts <laughs> and everything, bro. So it didn't really do much. It looked like they're on a table. So one time. <laughs> <laughs> they're floating yeah. in, the, in the dark void. <laughs> yeah, way. Uh, but you can still see her fucking sucking a fucking cock, way. Um, but on, you couldn't see her belly buttons. So it was fine. So I fucking, I was working, way. And I was like, fuck, this guy in the way because sometimes you would try to uh, stock the magazines and take the old ones and put the new ones when the new issues came out and sometimes the the travelers no agarraban la onda way they would fucking just stand in front of the in front of the book the magazine shelf so you literally would have to go around them or say excuse me or some some of the guys that we had they would just start throwing bundles on the floor so people would move out of the way so you can still read a magazine but get out of the way while we're working and so one, one day I was working and this older man kept fucking being in the way and i was like what the fuck dude this dude doesn't move and he didn't get all the signs way i threw the bundles <laughs> by his feet not that way i fucking kind of try to elbow him a little bit to get out of the way nada and fucking i look over and it was fucking tommy lasorda way <laughs> and tommy lasorda was was reading a fucking club magazine he literally took the porno out of the fucking plastic <laughs> and he put it in between uh like a sports illustrated or something <laughs> so from the outside he thought he was reading sports illustrated <laughs> but when you got closer you could see the mean that does in there way he was he was, he had the porno in the middle <laughs> and so, so from the outside, you're like, oh, this old man's just reading sports too. Catching up on the on, on yeah, the new catching up on the stats. Yeah, and then you got closer, and you're like, all right, wait, forget it. <laughs> so you try to be all low key, and poor Tommy way. And there's a uh, when I come home from work on the five, there's a Tommy Lasorda Highway little stretch. I'm like, I, can't, I never could forget that story. Where he <laughs> 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 fucking portals. He tainted him. He tainted me, way. Yeah. Yeah, está, está cabrón, way. So that was a move. They would do that a lot, way. Because sometimes we would, we would fucking put magazines away and then it's that one like two magazines and you would open it and the porno was inside the other magazine you're like, Ay, wey. <laughs> ya estaba listo <laughs> ya estaba. and you're like uh, <laughs> pero oh. fuck ni, los, ni las pagaban eh? fucking culeros <laughs> that shit was crazy man. fucking and and if they opened up a magazine and took it out were they forced to buy it or no they weren't forced to buy it oh no no well, you, not like you you know you you broke it you bought it type of deal no no it never was like that way they would still get credit because of the barcode they would still credit the store and that's why like with us if, if we were working in the warehouse and we wanted to get like a magazine we would just have to take the cover off and then leave it like on the bundles that way they get they can scan it and get credit for it somehow i don't know i don't, never got into how that works but no, you, you mean, what are you going to tell them? Wait, buy the fucking magazine? What a mafia, way. They don't pay you oh. enough to fucking argue with celebrities. No, but I mean, I'm thinking like maybe the, the, the star clerk or whatever, like, hey, um, you know, you're fucking tearing it up. Yeah, but no, no one wants greasy, to fucking get into those conversations. Free, with. Fingerprints on it. No, nah, then we get to the conversation of there's always that person at work. Like there's, there's yeah. always that one person that goes by the book. Yeah. But everybody's like, eh, wait, come on. Wait, it's, a, it's a fucking magazine. Because you have even like the, 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 the fucking a, shoplifting examples that put on the fucking Instagram. The, the about the fucking beat up the sock to that fucking girl clothesline or como le dio? Pinche chingados te que le dio, güey. Uh, which one, güey? Well, cuál de todos, you mean? <laughs> oh, it's been, it happens a lot. <laughs> no, but there's one where some man, no, like fucking clothesline some some girl or something. I was she was trying to steal something. Yeah, where it's like oh, one that's that where they're running oh, out. Oh, they're running right? out. Oh, and okay. he fucking like socked her, he clotheslined no, yeah, her, some shit. No, yeah, clothesline, cayó y todas las pinches mercancías se tiraron. Pero se la agarró machín, güey. Oh shit, bro! Like, like he would have got a Heisman. <laughs> 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 Le dan Reggie Bush's Heisman. <laughs> yeah, you you deserve this. Boy, they did that shit like that, but there's always someone, but you know, like yeah, that. there's and then they get fired away because it's not well. No, that guy, was, that's what I'm saying. That guy didn't even work there. Oh, you don't work there, <laughs> just a regular fucking yeah. patron. I, I mean, I don't think he worked there. How would you guys handle that if you saw some people shoplifting? Would you just kind of say, you know, I've what? seen, I've, I've seen a, at least one time I saw fucking not like the ones that let on the bolsa, but this is que 
low pro, but not really way. Like it's pretty clear they're fucking jacking shit. But I mean, it's it's. it's and I saw security like, just like waiting for him to go outside way. It's fucked up that they do it, but I mean, I think it's even douchey if I'm like being petty about it, right? I mean, I don't, I don't know. I just, I just feel like it's not <laughs> worth my fucking time. Right? So you, you brought up something, and then I'm like, fuck, because that was. Should I say something or not? I went. I was in Northgate, so in well, front well. of me. I know, right? In front of me, there was this um, this young couple. You ¿Cómo se robó las carnitas? No, hold on. <laughs> <laughs> Papas moyo. No, eh, si digo algo <laughs> para es, por eso, güey. Eh. I won't say something in that, that, in that case. No, actually, I wouldn't say anything on that case because it's for to eat. But so it's a young, you know, young couple. They're all tatted up, which I got nothing with tatted people. Come on, bro. Hold so on, hold on, it. hold on. That's a, that's a key. But, but you, can tell, you, it, no? you, you can tell, though, they're like, they're starting off. Son de esos de que se juntaron, la embarazó, and they have a kid. Yeah. Right? And the dude's all tatted up on the side of the face, which is, I guess, a new trend. I get it. Y la girl también. También toda, toda, And they had a, uh, so they had two shopping carts in the front. Tenía la comida, and the other one, they had the baby. But esta morra, she comes with a fucking three-pack de modelos. And puts it behind that little baby carrier oh. in the in the thing, and then she goes and she gives them the card. I guess it's like their debit card or whatever. Mm. So she's talking. She's like, "I'm gonna go take the baby to the car now, you know, or whatever." He said, "Ah," and I see that guy lleva los fucking tall boys, and when how she's walking is tapó the, the tall boys con la cobijita del niño, and she walks out. Ramon and I'm all like, on and it. I'm just looking. I'm all like, ah, I'm like. Uh, hey, why am I going to say anything? No. But why stressing them? <laughs> no, but it's just like, por eso es que nos suben el precio los demás, because of all these fucking, mm. como dices, si hubiera sido comida, all right. Pero fucking chelas. Chelas, yeah. Pues vicio es vicio, güey. I know. And then, yeah, al rato está pagando, and then like, he, le quitan una cosa, because I guess you can't buy it with that card. I think he had an EBT card. Oh, EBT mm, shit. EBT. Yeah, so he's all like, he couldn't, so then he's all like, all right, I'll pay. You can't buy chelas le, with le that either. Le quitaron the Patron bottle que estaba <laughs> <laughs> With the little baby like nipple. The, the, <laughs> the michelada the mix. <laughs> the michelada, the michelada. You can't buy michelada mix with the EBT. I guess. <laughs> so they wanted to steal the beer and buy the, the michelada, michelada mix with Why the EBT. Why not get the michelada already mixed in there, no, bro? Because you can't pay for the time. The micheladas, you can't. Holy shit, that's hilarious. You can't pay man. modelos with the EBT. They, they fucked up their, 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 no. their plan, way. That was the plan. But. But it, homeboy it still takes out, and I'm not gonna say I had a lot of money, but he had good good amount of money. Uh -huh. He paga aparte. No so way, I'm like, uh, that's I'm a like, rent way. He just cash. He just cash the fucking. The, <laughs> the, the, the rent was due. So <laughs> I know. Like, <laughs> the, I still don't see what the tattoos had to do with anything. Eh? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, it's because seriously. <laughs> the reason being is because I'm looking at the whole situation, and it's just like. It's it's shit like that that people right away start judging and criticizing. It has the speeches, you know. What would you say? I guess my parents would say estos pinches marihuanos o borrachos, you know? Mm, yeah. Con niños, pagando con, con pinche welfare y todo esto. So I'm just looking at it like, yeah, you're not helping the case. <laughs> you're not Wait. helping this fucking case. I mean, I didn't say anything. I did tell the mija. <laughs> and she's yeah. like, oh, wow. I'm like, yeah, it's just like, well, what are you going to do? Are you going to stop them and be that person? You could say, oh, you forgot the beer. You <laughs> <laughs> it sounds like you wanted to. Yeah, it's like you you said like it's just one of those. Oh, excuse me, the beer. You forgot the truck. It's just one of those where I'm like, shut up. I'm like, ah, fuck it. ¿Pa qué me meto? I'm like, I just came for fucking, for pinches unas carnitas. He said, I let that one slide, but I, I caught CPS on the way home. <laughs> <laughs> I let that one slide. But I let that one slide means that he thought about the other side, no? Oh, no, he wanted to take him down, eh? <laughs> <laughs> Detective Ramon was I on mean, it. It is kind of douchey, way, eh? It is, but like, at that point, what are you going to do, eh? Like, I, I let all those slide, way. Eh? Yeah. I don't fucking. I'm, I'm too old to be judging people for fucking shit, way. No, but then I'm uh, like, all right. ¿Qué tal que te estén robando a ti, güey? You know? No te están robando a ti, no, ¿Qué tal? This is a, no, but that's the thing. It's like, <laughs> where, where, where do we stop it at? You know, we're like, but, we yeah, have but to make that, certain that's changes. Those, or that, like, we have to like, hey, you know, like. But that's one of those arguments que, que never ends then, güey. Where does it stop? You know, yeah. like fucking con mi muerte, like me va a matar for, for mm. my modelo, güey. Well, I think I think that pe certain people need to learn a lesson the way if they keep getting away with shit. I mean, they're always gonna do it. But I, I get that too. That argument that sometimes these people need to get caught up and then fuck their shit up in order for them to maybe even learn. But even then, it's not guaranteed that they're gonna fucking get their shit together. 
I mean, people are just fucking stubborn, way. Like, especially with like alcohol and all that shit. I mean, the the guy that hit me way in the car, way that was his fucking second DUI, way. So he didn't learn the first time. He learned the first time, so I'm, uh, he's probably gonna hit somebody else again for yeah. a third one, way. It's just sometimes people don't do, even when you you think they should learn a lesson with what happens, they're they're not gonna fucking learn, way. Well, I mean, I I don't know if if, if todos esos problemas disappear, way. If if at least in the U.S. way, we were a little more open to different. Yeah, but you, you want to give them anything? Because even even like the the ABT card, fucking they had people would fucking be talking shit que porque the ABT, no, they're 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 still in the beer and they fucking we, they still get EBT type of shit, no? Okay, porque les estamos dando dinero a la gente, pero say like if we had even like the like healthcare where where they where if you wanted to go see a fucking therapist or something, podías ir way, no no te no te cuesta un pinche huevo, you know? Mm-hmm. I. It's not gonna fix all the problems like that. The, the, aquel borracho que te pegó may or may not go. Estos, if they have some fucking troubles, or not, they may or may not go. You know, it's totally it's on them. So, but I mean, I, I think it would alleviate a good number of them. No, we're fucking. I mean, hopefully, way. I mean, if it, if, it, if the service is there, hopefully people will take advantage of it, way. But I, I think they're not gonna take advantage until something happens. Like that's that's everybody way. Yeah. yeah. If you fucking smoke cigarettes your whole life and then all of a sudden you get cancer, oh now you want to fucking do something where your whole life you've been told to fucking avoid it, don't do this. So I think the way that people humans are kind of conditioned is not really a preventative life where it's mostly when shit happens is when we try to get our shit together and unfortunately sometimes that's already too late where the damage is already done so i feel like some that's what a lot of people need is they need that fucking to wake ha- up call yeah to like yeah. have their shit just completely flipped over and then maybe hopefully that'll help where yeah but i see como this is también there's that little tiny subset wake even even they get mm-hmm. the cancer and well, yeah, I already got it. Yeah. Might as well okay. keep smoking. Yeah. Okay. Might as well enjoy it. Yeah. Yeah. Like, y igual, como dice el vato que le pegó, güey. I'm sure if it's the second time, he's going for a third, way. He's going for a third, way. And then what if he kills somebody the third time, way? I mean, I got lucky, way. But what if, the what if like, yeah, our moms are in the next car? Like, you just don't know, way. It's just people do a lot of stupid shit with cars, way. Um, so they get really fucking, I mean, cars are fucking dangerous, bro. No, so what we're saying is the pinchy people worried about flying and submarines. I like come amigo. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not worried about submarines. And fucking, and get to the car every day. No, he was worried about Moscow and fucking oh, yeah. <laughs> Russia. <laughs> okay. and then, literally, I, I didn't even get home and Fernando's already debunking it. And no, 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 ya se había acabado. Fake news. No, fucking it, a, a deal was struck. <laughs> between the time we recorded, and the time we got in the truck, it, it, was, it was worked out. <laughs> <laughs> and this guy stressed all week about it. <laughs> Holy shit, bro. <laughs> Pero manejando, no, güey. A ver, los calcetinos this week. Uh? Yeah. Oh, Ahora shit. Si son completos, yeah. Uh, I, didn't get the, I didn't get the long ones, you know, but yeah, no, get the, the, the medium. What kind of cholo are you, eh? <laughs> uh, I'm not, yeah, I'm not that kind of cholo. I'm not even a cholo. You know the cholo? Nah. Those are cholo shoes, way. These are not are cholo they? shoes. No? Those are Reeboks. Those are dad Costco shoes. <laughs> <laughs> These are Reeboks, bro. Those are the original tennis. Wey, pa' que no te gastando tanto en get a magic eraser and clean them up, wey. <laughs> nah. No, they, they work. Un poquito no, de bleach, just, no? It's one of those nah, where, like... the magic eraser. That's how magic I used to eraser. clean them when I sold them on eBay. The magic eraser leave those fucking... The, the Mr. Clean? Chef's kiss. Those, Chef's kiss. Those Mr. Clean ones. Yeah, yeah. those little fucking. The little scrubbers. Yeah, those those fucking work. I'm not trying to shit on you. I'm just saying those would work good yeah, on. It's them. a little too late, but yeah. Why is it too late? <laughs> no, you already shit it on me. Not no, <laughs> yeah, all the time. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> yeah. That that should go in the new song. <laughs> I was get shit <laughs> on. They say the guy with the white shoes isn't gonna do shit today, wait. <laughs> <laughs> but I don't even wa- I don't even clean these. <laughs> <laughs> so that should be a fucking. Hey, you know what they say about guys with white shoes, no? <laughs> it's white pants. Uh, no, I don't know. But, I don't but know. It's 23 way. Now it's the shoes. It's white pants. Now it's the shoes. Now it's the shoes. Especially, you know, especially you, white Reeboks, man. <laughs> <laughs> it's a niche community. Uh, but, you know, Alfred with has some laces. white Reeboks coming with us. Right away, Alfred. No, I will. Oh, no, I can't wait. Poor Alfred. Pues por mínimo unas nuevas laces, no? That's a. I don't I do that's why I mean it's, I, 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 when I saw them I liked them and everything and uh, they were a gift um, so I'm like alright cool but it's just like yeah white shoes are high maintenance man they are high maintenance right they are high maintenance but I don't have any like 
I have uh, the other black ones. Um, the the the. the you beast. mean like tennis, no? Like the Brooks the, Brooks. The, yeah. yeah, the running. Oh, yeah, the ones the, you got from Se- for Seattle, right? Yeah, I have those. Um, the only thing is, they're like, oh, let me wear these. Fuck it, they're like they're a little bit. They're, they're both comfortable, but it's just like easier to slip on. Yeah, they're easier to slip on. And I'm like, I don't have any. My Cortez, I got rid of them. Why? What happened? Oh, eh, just remember. What? No magic eraser what? can save those. He said. No, they were, they were always black, and that would, you just had to clean the swoosh. But why? Why are you? You're not for Cortez anymore. Well, I mean, I don't know. I just feel they weird were about black. it now. They were, really? Why? What happened? Well, the whole the whole story behind the Cortez, you know, like oh, the Spaniards. Yeah, oh. like chingan asom. Oh yeah, see Mexico. All right, chingan asomare. Who was the one that conquered Mexico? Cortez. Fuck, I should have never told you that word. <laughs> no, I, I, so I still wore them after a while, but then I started thinking about it. I'm like, ah, fuck, all right. So then he went to Costco, got himself some Reeboks. <laughs> no, these are not from Costco. <laughs> <laughs> no, my dad fucking told us that my dad for sure. Went. Yeah? Told us original tennis, pues. Dude, Reeboks yeah. classic, bro. Yeah. Those are the classic fucking logo ones, too, eh? Yeah, it's got That's the, what I'm the yeah. little red and white and green. What happened to Reebok, right? I know they're still around. They're still, around, they're no? still doing, but, like, not really in, the, like, the, like, in the 90s, they were they were around in, in like, the fucking... Adidas like, and like Reebok cool, were cool big. People. Yeah. But, but cool people still wore Reeboks, right? I mean, Reeboks, I mean, even in basketball. Remember, they were, were the high tops. Again? The high top, yeah. Este Robert Smith from The Cure always wore the high top Reeboks. Oh, he did? Yeah. And always uh, with the tongue like sticking out, like oh, yeah. like those eighties ones. Yeah. Oh, oh, with shit. the skinny jeans. With the, oh, that's right. Yeah, yeah, you're yeah. right, bro. He wore the the Reeboks. But, but I think Reeboks went a different route. No, we get like Adidas and Nikes. Yeah. Uh, well, I don't know if they, on purpose. I mean, for a while they like didn't um they weren't still in basketball for a while. And I think Shaq had fucking Reeboks. No. Yeah, Shaq. Is and it, and the Shaq I, shoes were Reeboks. Allen Iversons were Reeboks, but I think they. They still do shit with the uh, UFC, I think. They're oh like, shit! They got like UFC shoes. Yeah, they, no, not shoes. Like the the the, oh, the, the yeah the uniform or the the shit that they wear is Reebok. So yeah, they I, do a lot of CrossFit. I mean, we, yeah, I don't I don't know what they're into now, but mm-hmm. I mean, it's still like Fila's. I mean, remember Fila's? Oh yeah. Yeah, Fila tried to make a comeback. No, I think they did no because those shoes they put on the moda. Those big shoes. The, the, the dad shoes they call them. I guess right. The they call, they call those zapatos. the dad shoes. Yeah. Those big zapatos. Yeah, because my I saw. My fucking one of my nieces or something was wearing something. I was like, "What the fuck?" And she's like, "Oh yeah, bro, fucking uh, had a she had a way like they were sold out or some shit." When I was like, "Those are sold out." I go, no, I go, "The tan pendejos way." <laughs> yeah, they're probably like at Urban Outfitters. I got all so. boomerish way. Go to fucking Alameda Swami. I stand way with the fucking with the plastic. Yeah, with the plastic way. <laughs> I know way. <laughs> that <That's mesos>. <laughs> <laughs> and and on see media, por favor. It was an experience, right, bro? Yeah, it was. Like fucking, you can order shit on online. Yeah, that's great. It's convenient, but going to the fucking <laughs> Swami, it's an experience. Right? Yeah, because you went for something, but you came out with like seven or eight things that you didn't know you needed. Most of the time, we went to go look at the girls' way. Oh yeah. Ah, yeah. Yeah, no, I was fucking I was gonna spend that. Okay, anyway. Ah, no some people, that. some we, people had malls. Some people had swap meets. We didn't have money where to fucking buy no. shoes all the time. And you hung out right there by the photo booth, <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> or the airbrush fucking section. <laughs> in, case, in case someone needed a partner for the, the airbrush. <laughs> yeah, the airbrush, <laughs> the airbrush section. Yeah. Because they even told us because camisas to get airbrush, yeah. and they're trying them on, and you're like, yeah. Yeah. and then you would go to the jewelry to try on some gold chains <laughs> yeah, to, yeah. to feel cool. <laughs> Uh, uh, should I? Les compas, should I? I don't know, bro. Knowing well, you're not gonna buy that shit. <laughs> 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 should I? Pichu Centenario, fucking big ass fucking medalla. <laughs> should I buy this, bro? What do you think? Is this is this real plata? <laughs> <laughs> uh, but no, I mean, it was an experience. I mean, just from the fucking getting there to the parking lot way, just to fucking. If you were driving or you were going with your, you know, someone that had a car. Because mm-hmm, yeah. you know, was in the pinche on tus cabrón, yeah. yeah. My sister used to work for the Com- Compton Fashion Center right there on, oh, shit. on uh, what is it? Bull- no, not Imperial. Bullets. Well, yeah, it's Bullis and yeah, Imperial. Okay. Yeah, it's right in between. I don't know if it's still there. Probably, st- or I think they turned to a Walmart. <sighs> oh, no way, yeah. yeah I think oh, it's that's the one that they fucking they looted not too long ago. Oh, really? The yeah. Walmart? Yeah. Oh, uh, I may I may be wrong. I don't know. It's been a while that I'm in that area, but yeah, she used to work at the Compton Fashion Center. Okay, and what booth or what? de los zapatos, man? Oh, really? Yeah, cause she used to be into like the quebraditas and all that shit. 
So I mean, you know, the the the, the oldest is not the oldest, but the the second oldest. Yeah, the second oldest. She, she right. used to be into all that stuff. Parecía esta cholita. There was a we used to bump heads a lot, where because my mom and my dad were pretty fucking always. My mom was always trying to pay the bills, and my dad was always drunk. So I had to step in, and then there was times where me and my sister would fucking bump heads, way because se quería ir. And I remember fucking one time I was like, you're not going anywhere. You're fucking staying at the house. And she told me, you know what? I'm going to fucking hit myself and I'm going to call the cops and say that you hit me. And I was Highway. like, fuck. This is getting crazy, bro. Pues pasale chingados. Shit. Pero te quiero aquí antes de las 12. Yeah, yeah, pretty much. So, ya dije. So we would always fucking bump heads because of that way. She was hanging out with the wrong crowd. Way. I'm, I'm, I'm surprised that nothing happened where that she didn't end up pregnant or... You know, or fucking getting killed or some shit like that. Because she was hanging out with the wrong people. With. Like, yeah, man, there was it, no joke. Those fucking little cow bangers. I wait, wait, who, who, the what? The cow bangers? Yeah, <laughs> wait, those what? fucking cabradito cholos. They call them cow bangers? Yeah. I don't remember yeah, that. I don't know that uh, one either. That was, that was something I guess in... I don't know if it was in my circle or in, my, in the clique or, in where, or in the school. <laughs> but yeah, it's the same as cow bangers. Shit. Cow bangers. Yeah. yeah <laughs> cow banger. <laughs> News to me, way. Yeah. We, we, we used to call them sir because we didn't want any problems. <laughs> <laughs> so. Oh, shit. Cow bangers, huh? That's a new one. Yeah. yeah. I've never heard that one before. I didn't think he's probably making this shit up. With. Oh, see we've, cow. I've Go mentioned cow. it cow before bangers. in the podcast. <laughs> I know there's a, there's a listener that started from episode one and he's already like a hundred so I'm sure somewhere along the line he's heard it so he's gonna hear this in like two years where uh, yeah he's all like oh yeah no, he does mention call bangers before <laughs> he did so shit yeah, yeah. <laughs> Have you guys gone back to listen to the old episodes where or no? Nah. Yeah. I don't even listen to the newer ones. It's, it would be kind of rough, no way? Yeah. To go back to listen to like, like episode uh, 98. <laughs> like, fuck. Ramon used to listen to all of them. I, I, used I know, to. he used to, yeah. yeah. I used to. We all did at some point. Mm. Um, you would listen when you were doing well, the, I mean, well, that's yeah. different. That's yeah, not the same. Yeah, that's yeah. different. <laughs> that's like same way. Oh, yeah, you, you fucking, you do your job at work. <laughs> Hay otros que no, güey. They don't do their job. And I'm fucking peleando, so we're fucking starting rumors. It's a weird, it's a weird way to say I listen to it. <laughs> you listen to it. <laughs> oh, shit. Holy shit, yeah. man. No, but yeah, the, the, those were, I mean, had little rough crowds, little pinche. You had the, los, que eran los clubs, the quebradita clubs. Mm -hmm. Cow bangers. Yeah. Oh, the cow bangers. <laughs> They're call bangers, bro. <laughs> <laughs> El Swami was one on though. I like the one. The Swami was fun way, but not not the one like the like the donde iba mi dad a, a vender herramienta. I'm talking about the. <laughs> you mean the indoor? The, the indoor ones, yeah. Oh, no, I, I didn't. I didn't. Are you like the other ones? Like well, no, the I, I, they, I, they never. I didn't go to a lot of fucking indoor ones way. Because yeah, I don't I, think Boyle Heights or East LA had indoor ones. The, the, the closest one I think was the was maybe the Pico Rivera. No, what well, to me I think it was the Pico Rivera one. Oh, that's right. Wait, it's a, it's a regional thing. I keep forgetting. Wait. Yeah, I know Alameda Swami had it. Then there was the Compton Swami. I had, then you had uh, there's one on Western and Slauson. I don't know what that one's called. I had it in the marketplace when before Plaza Mexico. They had an indoor Swami in there. Mm. They probably still do, but it's called Plaza Mexico. Um, but yeah, that's the one we used to go to. Well, la, la esta, el mercadito, would that be considered like an indoor swami? I guess, yeah. A little bit. Yeah, yeah, kind of. A little bit. Wait. I don't so know. Do they go. sell shoes It's there? a mercadito. Yeah, but, they sell botas, yeah. they sell shoes, oh, they sell yeah. ropa. They sell shoes. At the, <laughs> well, gotta check off all the boxes. Yeah. They, wait, wait, they did have they have the, an airbrush section? <laughs> uh, I don't know if they had a photo booth. Pinchi, sure películas did, piraterias? That's where yeah. all the cow, cow bangers used to hang out according to the one. Yeah, bro. <laughs> the cow bangers. The cow bangers. You guys are <laughs> just because you didn't you, you didn't hear it doesn't mean it didn't it didn't exist. I'm not saying it didn't exist. Where I'm just sounds saying funny it just sounds cool. Like, sounds I never made up. I didn't, I, I didn't overuse it. Way so now I'm, I want to use it as much as <laughs> I, I can. Way. It sounds cool. <laughs> I wish I knew this in the fucking 98 or well, 99. Whenever people start bringing up shit, no? Hey, were you a cowbanger? <laughs> what? What? What you call me? Yeah, because you have No, that, no, no. Ramon said. So, it. <laughs> first, you, it has, yeah, it has, uh, las quebraditas and everything. But then when you started having the cholos join in, yeah, then that's that's when they, like, you know, oh, yeah, he's a fucking cowbanger, bro. Con los corrieron from everywhere yeah. else. Los corrieron even from the fucking, the, the deep house parties yeah. way back yeah. in the, the... Yeah, that's the, what I'm saying. That's how they got their way. Bro. They started getting upset that they started... Infiltrating those parties, the party crews. Remember, yeah. what was the guy from Fox that used to do those reports? Oh, uh, Chris Blatchford. Yeah, that dude. Yeah, Chris. Yeah, Blatchford. El pinche, that's what I'm saying. They, they los corrieron from everywhere else, so they ended yeah. up in the quebradita mm -hmm. clubs. 
different times, right? Now they're in the '80s clubs. <laughs> now they yeah, apparently. I, that's the rumor going <laughs> around. Apparently, there's trolls hang out in the fucking. <laughs> What are the, what are those called? <laughs> like the, oh, shit. Evil the, bangers. The, 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 goth bangers? No, dark bangers. Goth, goth bangers, no? <laughs> goth bangers. <laughs> like the oh. prayers. <laughs> <laughs> New wave bangers. <laughs> uh, I don't know. That, 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 those don't have a ring wave. Like uh, cow banger. Yeah. Yeah, no, that sounds kind of crazy. Yeah, I was telling the, I was telling the guys that last Saturday, uh, the Mija and I went with my cousin and you know, the, their their side of the friends. We went to the totally New Wave 80s club over here in um, Lakewood. All right, calling them out by name. Yeah, que sepan, la raza. There's a lot of people that don't know where this is at, but it's yeah. a, it's an 80s club. So they have a karaoke section, and then they have, uh, I guess, where, you know, the dance section. But they had a they had a Cure cover band playing that day. What so, was the name of the band? Ay, fuck, I didn't catch the name. Oh, get got you. Uh, but the dude, you know, I'll give him that, the, the singer? Fucking had the the Robert Smith haircut. And Did they have the, the Reeboks? I, I couldn't see because there's so many fucking heads. I was looking for them. Oh shit! Too I much, was looking too for too much them. shiny heads. Got it. <laughs> it just shiny heads. There was a, there was a battle right there with the the Devo, the Devo hat, the little fucking conitos or whatever. Like, I'll give them that. There was a lot of people that you know they're they're you know dressed the eighties. There was a lot of there was a lot of rocones too mm -hmm. and rocones. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, Me, do we, present, present I know. Company. Yeah. Do, do we still present use those company. words when we're included? Uh, I know, right? yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you know? We were just talking about shit that annoys us now. Seriously. <laughs> <laughs> oh, pinchy fireworks. They're loud. <laughs> <laughs> There's a bunch of rocones. And then we come out of that. So I'm like, all right. <laughs> but then, then there was like a shitload of fucking cholos in there. Holy Can shit. Can you lower the 80s music? It's loud. <laughs> I know. They're like, fuck. <laughs> you know? But I, you know, earlier for me, when I was telling the story, Freddie made a comment, but I didn't respond to it. I, I did see one or two cholo singing along to the fucking Friday I'm in Love. No, oh, okay. Nice. You know, so I'm like, oh shit. Some romanticos too, way. Eh? Yeah, they, yeah. Hey, cholos have a fucking soft heart. Cholos have heart, too. Eh? Yeah. Yeah. yeah, they're not heartless. Yeah, they're, they're not heartless <laughs> unless they're unhoused. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Wow. Holy so shit. yeah, so it was it was trippy because I'm chingo de cholos and um, I, I went to the. I want to go put a go get a jacket. No, put away a jacket to the car. Cuando salí, and then you see the fucking they're all hanging out. It was like fuck. Don't be tanto pinche cholo. Do you, do you get uncomfortable being around all that? <laughs> nah, I don't. But it's just like you know, you always your las antenitas de vinil go off because you're like okay, you, you can't be too comfortable here. But no, los los saludas and get all extra around them, or nah. you just kind of let them go. <laughs> I just I just let them do their <laughs> own shit. Pulling up his socks. What's up, man? <laughs> so, um, How's it going, bro? He tries to get those socks to his knee. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> he starts unrolling his puma socks. He starts, or fucking, he starts sagging it. it. it uh, he starts sagging. In his, sh his solo shorts. <laughs> no, they were Adidas socks. Sorry, oh. yeah. it's Adidas socks with his fucking brook shoes. <laughs> <laughs> I had to roll them, bro. I was like, fuck, I don't have any fucking. Ramon wants them to know that he's one of them, man. Eh? I grew up in fucking <laughs> Paul Paul Hikes, eh? <laughs> East Los. <laughs> <laughs> you see all these rocones over there, eh? Fucking me. Eh? I should have an age limit here, eh? <laughs> hey, you guys got a bump or what? <laughs> <laughs> Ramon, Ramon quiere quedar bien con los cholos. <laughs> you guys still whistling? You guys still whistle? <laughs> oh uh, shit! <laughs> that, like fucking. That's got wrong with. There's a bunch of rocones there. I know that's funny. <laughs> <laughs> shit, yeah. So it was, it was, it was a, it was a good time though. I had fun, and but yeah, I was making that observation. I'm like, fucking shit, tanto pinche cholo. I mean, like, they don't have. I don't know. Do they have like, um, fuck, I don't know. Back in the days, you used to have like uh, the the rim ram, or you used to have the Nightwave. what was that? The, the fucking club off the '60s and the other the, 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 the hop. There we go. Oh, but that was the fucking. Uh, that was the old cholos. Yeah, well, the right. veterano cholos that would go there. You have some young fucking because Didn't they, they play a like lot quiet, of oldies. Quiet cannon, también, no? Yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah, they used to have that. But now I don't know if they have fucking clubs for them. Dude, wow. um, for them. Este, who's <laughs> the, for the Cholos? Yeah. Ah, uh, fuck. Wait. I mean, I'm sure the Quiet Canyons still fucking accommodates to them. It depends on the where you're at, no way. I mean, I guess. who the fuck's going to drive a long way? Those probably are the Cholos from that area, way. But like like we said, way, fucking, they, they started getting fucking a shootout of everywhere, no? Yeah. 
Porque siempre They traen, rowdy las, traen el desmadre, güey. Eagles no, are rowdy. High. People start getting shanked, güey. They're not drinking Bud Lights anymore? <laughs> <laughs> I, do, I don't know. Are, are they on the fucking bandwagon del, del banning también? I don't, I don't know. know. They fucking love Bud Light, güey. I mean, dude, before all this shit went down, we I would shit on Bud Light because fucking... Who drinks Bud Light, güey? <laughs> but but it's funny that um that now it's like oh no I don't drink that way. Oh no no, no challenge no, 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 fuck that eh? I don't I don't support that agenda. Well no what now 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 we have the the what the cut the lights and the you get you get a lot of you get a lot of the salsa drinks. Oh like the white claws the white claws and they got the trulies and then there's the other ones. Wait are you trying to say cholos drink white white claws with some of them? Like, Holy shit, she, bro! I don't know. Wait, some of them. I'm not saying all of them. I don't yeah. think they drink white claws. Yeah, I don't, you don't know, think way. so. No. Do they? They used to drink forties. Wait, do, do they still drink forties? <sighs> or do they even? I don't even remember seeing. They still make forties, right? Yeah. I seen the forties. Like Kawamas. They call them, I guess now they call them Kawamas. But no, I don't know. Kawamas have also been around. I don't really see them on the streets drinking that shit. Wait, are they just all doing drugs now? Because <laughs> before. <laughs> no, seriously, wait. Like before you would see fucking pisteando with a little bum yeah, outside. The fucking bumping their music, hanging out by the fence with <laughs> fucking chores, long socks, and they still have their, cl- their gloves on. Because la botella está muy fría. Yeah, did Purdue Pharma get them too? Uh, I, mean, I don't know. I'm just wow. saying I haven't seen a brown bag in fucking a long time. Wait, since fucking... Uh, <laughs> since since Firme I haven't seen a brown bag in the fucking bottle, eh? <laughs> oh, shit. Uh, let, uh, I, saw, uh, I saw a cholo in Anaheim yesterday nodding off in the bus that way. He was almost fucking flipping. He was almost turning completely uh, uh, flip, flipping himself, right? This is something you're trying to stay awake, but it's like... Well, That's how much he was nodding back, right? Shit. You know, it's like, I don't, <laughs> I don't think Damn, you, man. <laughs> I don't know. Damn. I, I don't know how the cholos. I don't know where they're at now, and I don't care. You don't care? I don't care. Maybe they're cow banging. <laughs> <laughs> nah, maybe they're fucking listening to the cure. Wait. They're, they're cow banging. <laughs> <laughs> that, that, if you live in, in like Fontana, like back in the day, cow banging is. It's different. They mean something else. Right? <laughs> <laughs> that's right. That's right. It's funny way. He's a cow banger. What? Isn't that know, shit man. illegal? <laughs> so, some, some parts of the country way, this is going to hit different. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, seriously. <laughs> <laughs> Holy shit. <laughs> There's people that do that, man. I saw Vice one time, and I think it was like Puerto Rico or something, where like most men... That lost their virginity was to like one of the fucking animals the out farm there. Farm animals. Oh, right? yeah. yeah, something like that was trending enough years ago. It's kind of crazy, way. When you think about it, but I mean, <laughs> that, the, that's sl- the, the tenders are slim picking it out there. <laughs> <laughs> but <laughs> you, are they? <laughs> you go on tender, you have a pinchy chivita, you're like, oh shit. <laughs> <laughs> but man. <laughs> oh, wow. <laughs> man. Wow. Hey, wait, didn't you go out with this one? <laughs> <laughs> ah, no, no, no. La mieta tenía el pinche cuerno chueco, güey. Oh, shit, <laughs> man. <laughs> Holy fuck. That, that cuerno looks <laughs> fucking straight up. Oh, wow. <laughs> like, like, yo agarré tenía pequitas. <laughs> Oh, shit. The last one I hooked up está media visca, güey. Se llama Casimira. Holy shit. Oh, yeah, no, 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 that's not my chivita, bro. <laughs> La mía tenía una areta en la nariz, yeah. güey. It's all you, bro. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> She looks cute. Ask her if she has a sister. Oh, <laughs> no chigues, güey. Holy shit. <laughs> Small town shit, güey. Está buena para la birria, ¿no? It's kind of it's kind of disturbing when you really think about it. It is. A, a little bit, yeah. <laughs> a little bit, no. It's like a lot, bro. Pobrecito animal. Nada que ver, güey. I know. Seriously, Just bro. Just tiene su sacatito de una repente. Oh! <laughs> you're, you're worried about the fireworks. They're worried about other shit. Seriously, bro. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. No, yeah, that's, uh, that's some disturbing stuff. Yeah, I don't know why he took us there, eh? I know. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, he's not the one that started. <laughs> no, he's the one that fucking He just brought the vice or whatever, no? <laughs> yeah, no, it's talking about the vice that I was watching. Yeah, then that's how they, like, you know, some of them had their first experience with a fucking farm <laughs> animal. Anyway, in- incels are a little different there, huh? Yeah. That's crazy. No, well, I, was it vice? I mean, the one that, that showed where, like, you could go to a certain country 
and fucking blow up a, a cow with a bazooka or something? What? <laughs> <laughs> Holy shit, yeah. bro. What kind of rabbit hole did you go down with? <laughs> Holy shit, bro. That's Somehow, crazy. I don't know why you thought. Uh, that's I, I different thought you kind of cow banging. That's <laughs> <laughs> cow blowing, bro. Dude, that sucks, bro. Yeah, it does. What a waste. <laughs> yeah. What a and waste. It's just way. like, you know, it, it, it's somewhere like. Uh, in Southeast oh, Asia and shit That you could go <laughs> Damn fucking. now you're making shit up wait. No it's, I, I remember seeing Southeast a, Asia Yeah Ah Remember there was a series on Netflix actually It was in Vice It was on Netflix where this guy goes He's the one that did the The, the Santa Muerte mm. The first episode that he goes to Mexico Like the dark and occult Yeah yeah He yeah. does one where like If you have enough money You could do these things mm. And one of them was blowing up a cow With a fucking bazooka that's fucking crazy What a witch the way Like fucking You're blowing up uh, An animal Not Yeah I mean Yeah that Yeah of course <laughs> <laughs> Of course It's a fucking animal But how many fucking How many people can that feed way I mean if you really think yeah. about that part of it How how wasteful I mean People are probably like Fucking assholes and animals. Yeah dude you know what We all fucking eat uh, or A lot of us eat fucking animal Fucking we, we prefer other people to kill it Than us right Yeah like even though we have we have a lot of love for animals, we still eat some animals, which is something that I guess it's a little conflicting. It's like a lot of animals, and 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 so when people hear you like kind of desensitize about it, like we, we you prefer to some butcher or, or or people at a fucking farm to do it for you, like what the fuck's the difference? But what I'm saying is, um, that's such a waste way. Like where where there's a lot of people that could fucking eat with that shit way, you know? Not the kind of the the douchebag fucking rich fucking uh, uh activity way but the fact that what it just completely explodes and in, in it gets wasted that's it yeah i mean do, do, do you want a hamburger de esas or quieres un, una birria bien violada <laughs> <laughs> holy shit <laughs> because I, I, <laughs> <laughs> I don't mind a little shrapnel with my burger <laughs> holy shit bro <laughs> Holy well, shit. Okay. They, they, they both sound pretty bad to me. <laughs> Holy shit. Maybe that's what they're using on your burritos. Que siempre se los comen todos, todos pinches enojados, güey. Pinche salchicha bien violada. Vienen con bad vibes. Vienen con una salchicha bien violada, güey. <laughs> wow. <laughs> You're eating it. You feel guilty. Like, I feel sad, bro. Why? Why do I feel sad? sad? I don't know. Maybe this little tocinito. El, el porquito didn't have a good life. Holy shit. This is bad. It, 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 esta hamburguesa tiene sabor a RPG. <laughs> Tastes like fucking gunpowder, yeah, bro. Yeah, none of this is good, way. Holy shit. How do good. we get into this shit? I don't know, Pinchy. So we went yeah. down this rabbit hole. Because of the vice, way. Uh, let's fucking change vice, it up, way. Vice is always bringing yeah. up a lot of shit, way. I know. ¿Qué más pasó en las noticias, way? Well, I was, I was just telling Fernie on my way here. When I picked them up, I was reading. I was trying to catch up on the story, way. So, apparently, in France, there's this uh, tomb... And on top of the, the oh, like Ramon's all excited, like the sarcophagus or whatever, like they have like the lid, and it's got like a um, the sculpture of the of the person that's buried in there, right? See, I'm a Victor Noir, French French journalist, mm -hmm. and apparently there's a myth to this this fucking statue or this sarcophagus um, sculpture uh, in the I don't know what fucking year. It's the way. Got into a duel. Se, se agarró con un pleito con el sobrino de Napoleon the Third, mm -hmm. right? And because this guy was a journalist, I guess the editor put out an, a fucking article that talked shit about the Napoleon. Y el sobrino se ofendió. He wanted to do with the editor, so the editor's like, "Sabes qué, Simon? I'm gonna send my representative so you can set up the fucking the details, and then we'll go from there." So va este vato, Victor Noir, to go talk to el sobrino de Napoleon, and like, "All right, cómo se va a armar el pedo? No, pues que sí, que sea." Y de repente, an argument happens. Pinche Napoleon's nephew mata este cabrón, mm -hmm. al journalist. Oh, sure. So there was never an actual duel. Never a duel. So, but the people fucking were upset que se armó el pinche la trifulca, güey. Mm -hmm. A couple of months or years later, fucking, there was a fucking big old war or no sé qué that <laughs> knocked these people out. Pero el güey que mataron a Victor Noir, <laughs> he got buried in his town. After this fucking fight, he told his mother, they're like, you know what? Let's honor this battle. Let's bring him to France. They brought him this famous sculptor, Laiso Pinche, the sarcophagus character. Chingón, güey. Pero el detalle está en que below the waist, 
on the groin area. So lo hizo bien pinche. Le dio un chilote, güey. Le dio un chilote, güey. Otherwise, wey. fucking being around the bush. It's just the, the setup. <laughs> so there's a myth. There's a myth now that fucking if you want fertility or a fucking happy sex life, ladies have to go kiss the lips Rub the fucking groin and put uh, flowers in the hat. So I so now the I guess uh, they they quartered off the fucking the thing because now they're damaging the stone. They're rubbing it so much. Hay viejas que se le enciman, güey, al cabrón. Que se le encima, güey. Oh, hey, hey. Tiene su evidence, güey. No te preocupes. Ay, para que para enseñarte. So excited, güey. Ramon was already already Jesus making Christ. fucking plans, but then he heard his cord and dog one. Jesus Christ. <laughs> like, they showed him a picture of a, 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 a chicken to Tanguita. <laughs> fucking just, uh, you know, going to town Rubbing with Rubbing up on the sarcophagus. Yeah. And, and the thing is que es de bronce, so everything else is black, but el chilito, fucking shiny new way. Oh, shit. Full of STD. <laughs> <way>. <laughs> fucking polished. <laughs> Sweet way. So apparently this myth, uh, and I didn't get to the point of like, how did this myth start? Or como es que comenzó todo este desmadre, but yeah, a lot that, of people. That's all I need to know, though, bro. A lot of ladies, I can go and they they want fertility and a happy sex life, and that's what they do. Fuck, man. So who who knew the answer was that simple? Where just go to fucking friends and, yeah. and start writing a, a statue. Yeah. El pinche pues Ramón's updating his, his funeral fucking arrangements. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, how big is uh, Victor Norris? I mean, I'm going to media pulgada más. Two centimeters. Andale. It's all. It's all, man. No, no, no pasa nada. That's crazy. Just put me a little bit of force. Where, where did you hear about this story? Where, where, where is this like news? <laughs> In between the Sports Illustrated. <laughs> <laughs> I was catching up on the on the market, the Nasdaq. Oh, the Nasdaq. Yeah, I saw you. I was sipping my firme mezcal with a little fucking newspaper. <laughs> That way, I was trimming my huevos. You know, I was going to send a little papelito so that someone like yeah, that. Yeah. <laughs> you read it? <laughs> <laughs> you read it on yeah. the Manscaped You know, newspaper? Manscaped gives you the little paper yeah, yeah, so yeah. that, you know, like can always cochinero. Oh, shit. Yeah. What? It's a little tanguita, güey. What? What's going on right here? Oh, shit, Hold on. This is interesting. Salí todo trasquilado, güey. Ramon fucking, this is the setup that he's going to France next year with. Gonna, <laughs> yeah, that's what I'm saying. He's going to be gone for two weeks. He was making his arrangements. <laughs> and then he found out it's cordoned off way and it's like fuck it's, I I mean, well it's in the same uh, cemetery on the stage Jim Morrison oh okay yeah oh shit yeah because uh, the Jim Morrison I mean that one that one's uh, sectioned off you can't go because a lot of people were damaging the the tomb es que no los aguantamos la, no, la gente no cuida nada no respeta yeah fucking, son they tag it up they fucking they, they put bottles I mean there's, there's fucking Jack Daniels whiskey bottles everywhere in that fucking thing mm. well even Flowers. even uh, even along those lines, también te acuerdas when uh, we used to go to was, uh, the Hollywood Forever, right? Yeah. Yeah, the cemetery yeah, yeah. We used to do the Dia de los Muertos. Mm -hmm. I remember growing up too, que te decían que you don't step on the graves, no, porque it's, it's disrespectful. Mm -hmm. But I remember when we went there the fucking the first time, I was like, everybody's just walking all over everybody. Uh, <laughs> no. Well, we went to Sinespia. Remember, we want to go see the... I didn't go to the to the plane one. I, I don't know what I did, but I didn't go to that one. You didn't go on the one we went on the bikes? No, that I didn't go, remember? That's the one where you guys were fucking talking about bike miles. And, yeah. No, that's <laughs> but on, no, but that's what I'm saying. So we went to the other one I, I remember the first time we went I'm like uh, you have, I'm trying to be all fucking careful way yeah, and everybody's yeah. just like fucking casually fucking like oh shit they're stepping on all the muertos way I'm surprised that they allow allowed that way like people just stepping on other people's fucking loved ones way. and then sitting, sitting on the fucking on the grave markers and yeah. on the fucking uh, ¿cómo se llama? on Not the grave markers. On the yeah, because some of them have tombstones, like the, no? the tombstones yeah. they still have the old school fucking big ass piedrota how did they get away with that shit? Well, they make money I, now. Yeah, they, yeah. <laughs> I mean, I, if you think about it, everybody's kind of pretty much relaxed now. Back in the days, you yeah, you couldn't like, you couldn't cross a church without doing the sign of the cross. No, I mean that's you. <laughs> no, but that no, know, that, yeah, was, that was you. No. you. You couldn't get on the freeway without fucking. I know. Oh, no, I'm not talking about <laughs> like in a church. Cuando pasabas en frente de la iglesia. Yeah, yeah, I remember that. Yeah. Tenías que hacer la señal, la señal de la cruz. Mm -hmm. You had to do that when you were with your parents. You know, you you had to respect them. You couldn't you couldn't tutearlos. But I think I think the respect of the dead it, it um it it's 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 not really church based way. It's more of like a culture yeah. and a, like you respect. Like I don't think that has to do with church way to respect somebody's grave. I, I mean I think that's just 
culture where like you're told that you have to respect somebody that's even though they're not there anymore obviously but yeah. Yeah, no los conoces even, yeah. You know? yeah well so here's the thing because i i asked that a while back the man because uh the whole thing and the thing is um so even if you go to like let's just say you have a loved one están enterrados and everything you still have to step over their grave to put the flowers but we do it with respect you don't just walk out carefully you know you kind of like i don't know if you light foot it they can, can, you, can you just go through the side one? You could go through the side, <laughs> but yeah, but it's okay, you know, like depending right. how it is, you know, you can't. Que cerquita yeah, están tirados. Te tirar la pinche espalda, right? They're like, ah, te quedas, you know. Yeah, no, I get it, I get it. But you light footed or you kind of do it respectfully, you know, like kind of like in a, in a humble-ish kind of way. I mean, I mean, you're going to do something yeah. like nice, a no? A good gesture, yeah, yeah. 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 You're not gonna fucking put use use your your grandma's fucking grave as a coaster for your beer because you're watching a fucking band. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, andale, andale. <laughs> exactly. Yeah, yeah. So the first time I went, I remember I was like, oh shit. Hey, yeah, I got the same thing. I got the same thing for me. I was fucking doing yeah. one of these fucking stepping around everything, and then I go, what the fuck? Everybody doesn't give a fuck. Yeah. But I was your fucking playing fucking. Uh, ¿Cómo se llama? Don't step on the fucking crack. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the, the, the little dance. So it's just that somewhere along the line, like either our, well, our I mean, generation doesn't really pay attention to those little details that we don't share that information or it wasn't, you know, because I know my parents said that, like, you got to respect. Yeah, try not to cross, but if you are, do it in a respectful in manner. a respectful way. No andes zapateando or anything. Si tienes que ir a mirar, vete pinche. And I'm talking in like in Mexico, you know? Mm-hmm. Vete allá a los pinches árboles. No te pases detrás de, de una pinche, de una lápida o algo. <laughs> yeah, that sucks. Yeah. No está bien. Está cabrón, güey. So you, you think it's the lack of religion? That's your perspective? I don't, I don't know if it's lack of religion, but it's just right lack away. of... Um, uh, like somewhere along the line, we we're, we lost uh, the traditions Mm. You know, we lost our traditions or like, you know, what what our grandparents fucking held dear. Our parents kind of made a little relaxed. Ya con nosotros, they're like, ah, chingan a su madre. Because every, every Sunday, for the most part of what I remember, you know, we my parents still... We went to church, or one, or some of us would go to church. But again, it's a religious thing, no? It's a <laughs> yeah, but it was a it's traditional a Lord's thing. Day. It was a traditional thing, también. Because uh, even if it was Lord's Day, I mean, if you really respect it, no vas a estar fucking haciendo canasa poniendo todo pedo. Mm. Mm. I mean, that's a lot of us, our stories. What do you mean? <laughs> I mean, yeah, yeah, that, that, that is that well, is a ritual. To, at my grandparents' to house, <laughs> at my grandparents' <laughs> house, I don't think my grand, I'm not, tr- um, I don't think my grandpa drank on Sundays. That's what I'm saying. So, like, there's different. Rit- yeah, there's, but I'm saying that there's a religious ritual, and there's like, como dices, way, like, cultural little norms, way. Que, like, you just know, but you don't know why, even like when you're young, way. Yeah. Like, a religion thing, pues ya sabes, el, el domingo, pues es dia de la misa, pero that, that's a religion thing. It's not because fucking. I mean, our Indian fucking ancestors weren't fucking, they didn't give a fuck. It was Sunday, I don't think, like, to go to mass. I don't, I don't know, that Dev Temple? Como estuvo el desmadre? I mean, that's something the Spanish brought in. Yeah. This, so, is, this is how you're going to do it. Now. All that shit you've been doing? No, no, no. This is it right here. Uh-huh. And so it just kind of completely brainwashed everybody, way. But, but, but what is it like? Is is it is it something that could be blamed to like the younger crowd? Because what if it's something that they're like, you know what, this didn't work. Why the fuck am I gonna still be doing this shit? Where look what it got my parents, and look what it got their parents. Maybe a lot of it is that where they're just like, this didn't work. This doesn't make sense. Like you guys, you guys have some people might even consider like goofy beliefs that don't apply to world right now. You don't think that that's part of it too? No, that could be. I mean, it, they get outdated. That, yeah. that kids are just like, why am I going to do that? Why that's, the fuck am no I going to, to this? Why am I going to fucking me voy a persinar every time we go through a church for what? Like if something's going to happen, it's going to happen. Like everybody kind of just takes their own kind of views. And I mean, like before we wouldn't question things and now I guess we question everything, right? No, but I'm saying that that's all of history way. We don't wear fucking those, those wigs anymore for like 1776 way like there's traditions pues como es este way that they they kind of get outdated way and you make new the new generations make their own traditions pues but or let's, modify with previous shit let's go back to this earlier you were telling us a conversation that you went to a steakhouse in Chicago yeah and they they wouldn't let you in unless you were dressed up a certain way right yeah that's a tradition and you're like ah, it's, you know it's I well, get it. Well, it's it's it's. Uh, I think it's a it's a legal way of excluding certain demographics to come into this establishment. When I, I think it's just that they want to keep a certain aesthetic and 
I mean, I, I don't think it, I, I mean, when it comes, even when it comes to traditions, we should still question, I feel, I mean, personally, I should still question them. Why is that that? When it's something like that, you know, like I was, um, since you brought it up, I went to a steakhouse in, in Chicago and it was, it was like the, I think it was the oldest steakhouse. I, I forget the name, but there was a dress code. You couldn't come in with shorts. You couldn't come in with like sports team attire, hats. All that to me is, 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 is uh, it reflects the, that they don't want certain people there. Trying to keep the riffraff out. Exactly. In the legal way where they can't say, oh, they don't you, want cow you, bangers, eh? They don't want cow bangers. They don't want fucking <laughs> toe bangers. They don't want. <laughs> don't Jimmy wow. the bangers. <laughs> wow. So, so I think legally it's a, it's a good, it's a, it's a legal way for them to exclude certain people to go into these restaurants because. I mean, the food's expensive, but fuck. I mean, if if somebody saves money, if they work at a humble place, they can save money and they can go eat there. But they don't have money to buy a fucking suit or they don't have money to dress nice. Wait, why can't they eat there? You know, it's, cause it turns into that. I mean, the pinchy. I, I would argue uh, along those lines is we got to bring back those tiempos where que cuando you got on a plane way, you got a little dressed up. Porque pinchy gente ya se va un poco muy fodonga, ¿no? <laughs> yeah, so I'm in chanclas They're wearing Crocs on the flight I mean is this still a thing los zapatos. Uh, I remember flying um, Like in um, what, What's it called When you're like On standby And they there was a dress code To go on standby Like I had to wear A polo shirt I remember it was like This whole thing That there's a certain Dress code for me To be on standby Is that oh, still shit. a thing Or yeah, I don't, I don't know, know. I, don't, I, never, I don't think I ever Flew standby yeah, there was like All a certain right. fucking. Yeah, I didn't, I didn't know that was a thing. Like Pinchy having a dress code for standby. Yeah, because uh, when I was when we were little and we would fly to Mexico, I remember my mom nos vestía, you know, pajaritos and everything, and you know, peinadito y que la chingada, nice little button shirt, and my sister in her little dress y que la chingada, and we were kids though. Um, and then at some point I remember like people would still like either wear like a sports jacket or to no even in tennis and no even in, in fucking because my dad would still wear his like you know fucking what would the they're not shanks? slacks they're not oh. slacks but they're like almost like um like the Chalino pants. What were those? Oh, like the... No son Levi's and oh, they're like doctors. Yeah. They're like, they're like wranglers. Yeah. Andale, like, but uh, like dressy, dressy, dressy. I know which one's talking you about. You know which ones, right? Yeah, yeah. So my dad would wear that because his botines and his, you know, su camisa, you know, fucking button up, también fajada, my mom, you know, nice and everything. And then at some point, over the years, it just started getting relaxed. You know, like people are going in, I guess, in jeans and shorts and chanclas, fucking, fucking slides. Yeah, slides. And it's just, I guess, you're comfortably flying. But fucking, I'm not saying you got to take out your fucking floor shame, fucking 1970s boots, wait, pero, pero, uh, you know, at least some close toe shoes, no? <laughs> I yeah. I don't need to smell your feet, eh? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know if I talked about this with you guys or not, but uh, for a while I was, um, I usually, a veces me salen pinches, like, well, no, es que me salen, me mandan fucking crazy feeds, and I got some friends that send me some fucking crazy shit. But they sent me one where, like, there's this, uh, People blowing up fucking cows. No. <laughs> it's this crazier? It's this guy because I'm a big daddy. And he, oh, and he always, he does these little videos oh, where like he's watching TV and it's, a, and it's an old commercial. And he's like, he just does facial expressions. And another one, he's at the park or at the gym. But this one is when he's traveling. So he's in the airplane and, and he's like, he's like walking down the aisle supposedly. And then he looks over and then you see like un pinche desmadre, like a lady... With their feet up in the fucking, you know, like on the on the on the seat, and then the guy in the front smelling the feet, and he's like, "What the fuck?" <laughs> and otra, that's weird. Man. And otra, there's this lady washing her fucking underwear in a little cup of water. What the fuck? fuck it, and then like lo pone, you know, the little vent. To say, I'm like, but I've seen more of those lately. Mm. Donde gente está lavando su ropa interior, mm -hmm. and they're like, "Really? What the in fuck?" In the plane? Yeah. Oh, and their fucking seat. It's because, like, we, like, we've talked about before, where people, I, mean, I, I think Americans, especially, no, like, we think like every space is like our space. Like, yo pagué, mm. yo pagué este asiento type of shit. Like, this is my, yeah. my fucking little space, way. And don't you violate my little space. Yeah. I'm going to do whatever the fuck I want in this little space. Yo estoy aquí a cenar, yo estoy pagando esta comida. Yo lo voy a hacer como yo quiera, güey. But I do, I do think that, ba that like what you guys are saying, that people just don't try as much anymore, right? To just, I mean, and it's crazy, way because, like, dressing up, it, it might be something that's really, like, superficial. But it's crazy how it, it makes you more comfortable and even add a little confidence in your step, way. Right? Just, just the fact that 
you put a little bit of time in the way that you look. I, I think it reflects like the way people see you. And, and some people say, well, that doesn't matter. But uh, fortunately, we live in a world where we interact with people fucking every day. So, I mean, certain things do matter, I guess. But um, a lot of it, I mean, it's like I remember as a kid going to restaurants once a week, we ate out. And then that once a week, even if it was KFC or whatever, we dressed up because you dressed up to go out to eat. It doesn't matter where the fuck it was. You went to McDonald's. That was eating out to us. Oh, so yeah, for sure. Everybody fucking went in going with your nicest clothes, but even if it was McDonald's. And I think now, I think it's just people eat out so much that it's not even like a thing that's like considered. Not in pyjamas, way. No, well, I mean, mm. I'm... I'm I'm always been this fucking this this is what I wear all the time with pinchy not comes like a t-shirt and pants pues pero but I most of the time fucking ninety percent of the time I at least have socks we should and get you close toe shoes way we should get you some <laughs> you know, like, pants bro like they got I don't mean we have to go go out like fucking all fucking nice and button up shirts y fajadito way like. What's a good way to put it? Way I, I guess pretend you're going to Target instead of Walmart. <laughs> 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 you know, like you're you're not going to La Quinceañera either. You know, pero I'm not going oh, to Quinceañera party. But pretend you're going to Northgate. <laughs> you know, numero uno. No, uh, pretend you're going to Whole Foods. And not I know. Andale, uh, andale, North andale, Whole Foods for less. <laughs> <laughs> el super. <laughs> no, vas al super, güey. Vas al food, uh, Whole Foods. Uh, whole Foods. <laughs> yeah, so th that's all I'm saying. Wey. It doesn't have to be fucking crazy. Oh yeah, it's but insane, it's, way. But that, that's that's stepping into murky waters now because that, now, that's in boomer territory. Where this yeah. whole episode, well, what's the murky water? Yeah, now? because I thought it goes back to what you were saying. They're trying to keep certain, exclude certain people from from going to an establishment. So if you can't go in, if you're not dressed accordingly or properly or acceptably, I'm not trying to make a uh, like a rule, but, but I mean, kind of like he's saying, we're like uh, personally, no, like like make culturally, an society, and in, in general type of thing, where like the tener that little. Um, What's that word I'm looking for, way? To, to, pues, pon andar nomás Pride? pinche fondojo, fondongo, fonde, ya me sale pinche palabra, güey. Te, te, te sale lo chicano, güey. No, ya me falló todo ahorita, Todo wey. frumpy. You don't Ay, want people wey. walking around all frumpy. Don't be all fucking cowbanger, eh? <laughs> No, pinche, but I'm saying, like, te, como, como está diciendo este güey, like, try a little, güey, no? Like, little. <laughs> but you know what, Fernie? I think the way somebody looks on the outside is, is, a, is a clear a, a example of what they are on the inside. Like, you, if, if the person looks kind of fucking like they're not put together, that's exactly how they're feeling. Right? So it's going to be hard for that person to realize that they need to look a different way because it's a, it's a the way you look outside is a clear reflection. The way you live, the the environment that you're in, if if you're messy, if you're whatever, all that stuff reflects the inside way. Right? So it, it, it really, it's really not as easy as, oh, just put in a nice shirt. It, it's going to be fucking, it's going to require for them to really go inside and figure out. But uh, that también that works in, in the opposite direction, no? Porque a veces que la raza too, like back even... Yeah, I'm sure like our parents more, pero ya ves que, que siempre tenías que salir, like we're saying, like nice way, porque you had to fintear, pues, que we're doing good, no? Like you had to fucking put on your nice shirt way, or los, ya ves, los, los, like even we'll go back to the fucking cowbanger clubs this guy was talking about, way. You'd have the fucking, the vatos fucking dress chingón, güey, con sus camisas de seda, sus pantalones esos bien pinches. Fuck, bien, bien, the, the chalino pants. And in aquellos tiempos, they weren't even Wrangler, they were like Guess, and Guess was todavía cool type of shit, you know? Yeah. Pero then fucking, you'd see him riding home on the fucking bicicleta with the fucking tejana and the, the paper bag. <laughs> like, no. On the box. Pa, pa fintear, so like it works kind of sometimes a little bit both ways que quieres. I, I guess the moral of the story is we should dress up like Dave dresses up on a on the regular, you oh, know? Look like an insurance salesman? <laughs> I don't know. Like. That's funny. I mean, I, I understand what you're saying, Fernando. That's a good point. Where I just I just feel like this is what boomers complain about, oh, is, yeah. is that they complain that people should just... I, I, I think the way that boomers think and the way that their life was, was a time where nobody said anything. You just did what you were told. You kept everything to yourself. And you went to work. If, if politics was shit... You kept it to yourself, societal issues, you kept it to yourself, you don't fucking complain, life was simple, they say, it was so easy, it was good, 
but it wasn't easy and it wasn't good because everybody was keeping shit inside. Now we was fronting him. Yeah. Now we everybody was fronting. Now we live in a society where more people are vocal about things, and that's why it maybe sounds like everybody's just always bitching and complaining. But I think there's always been those thoughts. It's just now people are more inclined to like express them than before. You suppress them, which. I don't think that's a good way. I, I, a way of living either when you suppress what you're feeling. Way so, I mean, it's hopefully there's some in between that happens because I feel like everything, the the answer is everything. Uh, to me, I feel like the answer to everything is somewhere in the middle of like both perspectives. But we'll see. Way yeah, because I mean, like we've talked about way like the, with social media. Plus, everybody, you can post talk whatever the fuck you want type of shit. No, well, not whatever whatever you want, but like in. Like the stuff we're talking about, plus everybody get has a voice, you know. Mm-hmm, yeah. You you might only have this many followers, but you say some crazy shit, all of a sudden you fucking blow up too, type of shit. And everybody thinks that they deserve to be listened to. Andale. Like no, <laughs> no, <laughs> fucking <laughs> your shit's wacky, dude. <laughs> no, no. <laughs> Just because you're a fucking human doesn't mean everybody needs to listen to what you're saying. Like no, <laughs> no. That's enough for me, dog. <laughs> I guess that that represents the the numbers that we have. <laughs> yeah, for sure. Wayne. Hey, man. I mean, you know, we're having a good time. Where I mean, I don't know. I mean, this this is honestly this is. I think I don't. Know, I can't speak for you guys, but definitely this helped me in my life to kind of work through things out. If anything, if nothing really happens from this, I still would take something from it, which is that if it didn't help somebody listening to this, it really helped me. And like talking about certain things that I wouldn't talk about before and, and it just kind of made me see life a little different and be more understanding of what people that have different opinions. Right? So, I mean, I don't I don't think this is a negative thing, even if it doesn't work out, if we still fucking five years from now look back, I still wouldn't do anything different because it really helped me. You know? Yeah, I, I would never say this was a waste of time. way. I, I enjoy. It. I look forward to Saturdays. I mean, how how else do we get to get to shoot the shit? Right? I mean, I, I honestly think that we're so. Well, I don't. I can't speak about you guys, but like with me, I feel like we're so like different in many ways that I don't know how we would even still have like a a connection the way we do. Just meeting every Saturday and 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 just you know shooting the shit. You know, I I, w- I wouldn't see how I would be fucking. Cause I'm always in my own fucking thing where I just always kind of my mind somewhere else way, and, and I just feel like you guys honestly are better together than me around you guys. I think there's always like a difference, you know. But this podcast kind of makes it so like makes you understand more. It's like it doesn't matter if you have different views or if people think different. You you could still have these people in your life, and and you could still kind of uh, have a friendship no matter if you disagree with most of the things, you know. Yeah, güey, porque ya ves como estamos ahorita, I mean, I mean, yeah, güey, everybody fucking all of a sudden, yeah, there's, I think there's, como te lo, what am I trying to say? I think there's a, there's a line, pues, because también, ya ves, especially con el paso, when we went through the fucking, like, the Trump years, everybody was fucking disowning everybody type of shit. Yeah. Like, that still continues now, güey, que all of a sudden, you can't have a disagreement porque, ah, yeah, chinga su madre ese cabrón, güey, ya no yeah. voy a hablar con él. Instead of just fucking having those conversations, no, fuck it, wait. I, I think sometimes those conversations, even if you get a little fucking little riled up, are fine, way, you know, you have to, you have to talk about them. But the, I mean, I, I guess maybe you don't have to, but you should. <laughs> and just so, so you can see each other's point of view, even if you're not gonna, como he says, do you just don't go out trying to think like in your head. Like being adamant, pues, que I gotta convince this person. Yeah. Like I gotta fucking, I gotta, I gotta save flip him. him. I, yeah. Of if course, you go without yeah. the mentality, pues siempre has a salir un corajudo, because that person not gonna, has gonna have the same mentality. Wey. And I think it's not even about that way. It's not even about convincing somebody or about you um, believing what that person's saying. I think it's more about understanding why that person's saying what it's saying. If people practice that more, it would be a totally different world. Oh, yeah. Not only that, if, if this guy tells me something, my job is not to believe what he's saying my job is to understand why he's saying what he's saying and if you understood why a person said something it would make total sense why people are the way they are why they believe what they are but we don't do that we we have conversations thinking like no i have to convince these fucking idiots or they have to fucking believe what i'm saying and i don't think that's the point of life i think the point is to just understand why they're complaining about what they're complaining and they understand why you are complaining about what you're complaining. And that would just create so much less tension in the world, dude. But I don't know if that's ever going to happen. But the, the, Yeah. So, so like with that said, wait, like I, that's what I'm saying. Like, I think, 
I think, yeah, we live in that fucking in a time where get people can't do that anymore, way. So instead, you just write people off. You start, you stop talking people, way. Como dices, we have different views, way. They land on sus chingaderas. You land on las mías, type of shit. Tenders, man. Fuck you know? that. And then people dox you. I don't know if you've seen those Twitter accounts or those TikTok oh, accounts where people fucking, if somebody says something on camera or something is uncalled for, there's mobs that go after them. And then there's people that start exposing their, their address, their telephone yeah, yeah, yeah. numbers. Like, dude, no, but I, I mean, I'm, I'm saying like between like, like uh, people we've known a long time, pues. Yeah. I mean, también, también we, we, it's also, there's also like a thin line because we, we, I mean, you know this well too, like it, some people you just gotta fucking desconectarte, no? Like, oh, you gotta yeah, fucking, of course. You gotta cut loose, way. <laughs> yeah. But I mean, there, there's some way que, que you can have good dialogues, pues, there, you know? Like, yeah. Even it doesn't have to be every day or fucking once a week type of shit, but they're, they're not bad people, but you just don't agree on some stuff type of shit, no? And people don't wanna deal with that shit because they don't want people that fucking don't think like them type of shit. Yeah, yeah, of course, way. So 100%. That, it, it's a fucking. Weird line, I guess. Trying to draw with. All around me are familiar things. I saw that movie last night. Or was not. Uh, Donnie Darko? Mm. Oh, shit. I just brought it up. I was telling you. The, the, you should I was, watch it. With. Oh, I, I, I've if seen it had, like seven times already. No, I know. But when's the last time you saw it? Uh, last year, I think. It's time, bro. Yeah. I did see the, the, the Flaming Hot, though. The flaming hot. Oh the shit! Uh, you saw it? Yeah, I saw I it. What's your rotten avocado score, bro? Um, come on, this is Fernie, and I think even uh Frankie from No Father No Problem said like, it, it, you know, it kind of like it did pump people up. I could see in that sense, but it was uh, uh again. <laughs> <laughs> who, did, who did pump up? Hold just, on, just be honest, way. No, no, no. You, 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 who, just because you're a Chicano doesn't mean you're supposed to fucking. No, that's your favorite there, there movie. Was, was, who do you know that it, it pumped up, way? Like I think Frankie and some people said. No, that was I'm very saying you. Like, like you're, you're talking about antidotes, the otros way. Like he had, he personally talked to someone. Pues, that, yeah, some guy was telling me. Um, so I'm asking about your review, and you're telling me about other people. Oh yeah, no, like, I, I did. I get anybody anybody tell me about it? No. Just us. That's what I'm yeah, saying. Yeah, just us. And, uh, it, it was it was good. It was good. It was it, it had some humorous parts and it had some inspirational parts. Um, it's just I guess, in some sections it did kind of feel forced. Just some, not a lot. But overall, and my and rotten aguacates, I give it a, a seven out of ten. Oh shit! Damn. Damn. Yeah, that's seven pretty good out score. Of 10. Seven out of ten. Yeah, that's pretty good oh, score. Exactly. I keep that I in mind next time you recommend a movie. Way so, uh, <laughs> seven out of ten. He's like that. That downgrades all your scores for me. <laughs> yeah. nah, I'll keep that. In, I'll keep that score in mind next time you tell me to watch something. Way no, <laughs> but, but Donnie Darko is really good. Donnie Darko is a good movie. Yeah, it's dark as fuck. <laughs> it's, it's very dark. Yeah. But it's just uh, I, I I had a, I remember. Remember when I first saw it, I had to see it like two or three other times just to understand the to whole understand premise. It? Yeah, yeah so the whole. I, how many times did you have to watch it? You think before you you started to I got along that way. I think after like yeah like the it's like even the Matrix when you watched it like the first time you're like what the fuck is this? The Matrix is a documentary, bro. <laughs> <laughs> and then yeah, like after the third time you you understand it's the same thing with like Pulp Fiction. You know? Well, let, let me I've, I have, I've only seen it a handful of times, so maybe help me understand like. What I what I got from it is that he was able to travel back and kind of save a lot of the shit that happened, right? That's, what, yeah, that's what happened? Yeah. Well, there's I, I a lot of theories, bro. There's, yeah, because he was able to see how the time travel or that, that, that line yeah. goes and how it affects. So, um I mean, it's an old movie, so there's yeah, no, think, dude, like, there's yeah, no yeah. spoilers yeah. here, way. If you spo- so spoiler, him, Tina, you've been under a fucking rock. So him by choosing to stay in his in his um, bed yeah. and letting that engine fall on yeah, him, yeah. he saved his um, you know his the girl. He his saved little Miha, yeah. yeah, everybody. Yeah, he saved a lot of people because of that. Yeah. Oh, but there's a lot of theories. No, wasn't there? I don't remember anymore, wait, but it wasn't there theories and shit que que también ya ya está muerto and he's fucking. Thinking the, about shit and not shit like that. Like, he yeah. never really time travel type of shit. Yeah, because, I mean, he's not okay. Yeah, yeah he's not okay. That it's on its head. And yeah. So, I mean, he's trying to save La, la, la Gordita, and it just makes things worse. Mm, yeah, you know? she had a crush on him, no? Yeah, she had a crush on him. And lower away with the bunny, with the bunny suit. Dude, Seth Rogen fucking. Yeah, he's on that. I'm like, wait, this fucking guy. <laughs> y también, isn't it Ashton Kutcher? También el otro que está con él? No, I don't el think otro, it's Ashton Kutcher. No? No, I don't think so. I mean, I could be wrong, but I don't think so, we're. Because there's a 
Because también watch una, ¿cómo se llama la otra también? The, the one with the top, with Leonardo DiCaprio. The oh, fucking, uh, um, with Inception. The stolen, Inception with the dreams. That you oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. One That's dream into one. another dream. <laughs> my, my compa, I was just talking to a compa yesterday, and he was telling me that, uh, he's not like, how do you explain certain dreams? He's not like, he was uh, watching TV, and then... um. Fucking, he's fighting. He's he was dozing off like that cholo on the bench, right? He's fighting oh. it, right? And he's not like, dude, I was, I was so tired, but somehow you don't want to go to sleep. You're fighting to go to sleep. So, I guess his body is like, all right. Not only he falls asleep and he's dreaming that he falls asleep in his dream, so he goes into like a third layer of fucking sleep. You <laughs> nice. know, he's like, how the fuck do you explain that? Yeah. You know, like my body really wanted me to fucking rest that not only did it, am I dreaming that I'm dreaming, but in that dream, I'm fucking asleep. Damn, that's deep, bro. <laughs> uh, I need like a whole lifetime to figure this out. <laughs> you had to bring out a little totem wing? Yeah. See, see if he was awake? And I'm all like, dude, it's almost like fucking Inception. I'm like, yeah, how do you explain that to somebody? Like, I don't even understand it. Yeah, you don't. You just fucking enjoy it because it feels good, but Yeah. <laughs> that yesterday, now that you mentioned like dreams, but yesterday I was working in LA and right there by the, the Loomis, the fucking oh, golf course. Well, like, so I went up there. There's something happened that the lights were off. Like it was fucking chaos. Way like it's it's crazy how like lights. People hate law and order. We hate order. But when the lights go out, it's fucking so much fucking chaos. Way like we need certain indicators to keep them keep us on check. Way because it then just is fucking a free fall. But I went up to the the um, the golf course up there to kind of smoke my pipe and take a little break. And I saw this dude in a flatbed tow truck he was knocked the fuck out way but knocked in a way so fucking like he he, he looked fucking embarrassing with that i honestly thought he was dead way i saw him <laughs> and just, <laughs> just the way his face looked yeah i was like wait is this fucking guy okay so i kept looking back and 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 i was even thinking of fucking calling the because the door was open on the driver's side and I saw the towing company name, and I was like, dude, it was one of those reminding me when we were talking about people shoplifting is, should I call them and fucking put this poor guy on blast, way? That sucks, way. He could probably lose his job. Yeah. Or, or like we, when we started talking, way, can you see him on his break, you know? <laughs> so yeah, like, that's true. Way, way. Yeah, it's probably his break. That, that sombrita estaba chingona right there, way. I'll, <laughs> I'll give him that, way. It was a little bit, the altitude is a little bit high, so there's more wind. It was a hot day. A breeze. It felt good, way. Like, I was even looking at him like, man, I wish I could just fall asleep <laughs> <Yes>. right now. <laughs> <laughs> fucking responsibility. <laughs> <laughs> but then I'm like, wait, if I call him, is he the one that's going to answer maybe it's his business like I, I i was thinking about this way like wait, should i just take a picture of him and put it on yelp like hey wait i'm on the five stock and look at their fucking drivers over here <laughs> oh wow is wait. he alive is he wow the, the, the boomer ness is fucking cabron today i was writing them out eh nada que ver el pobre just nah fucking... poor guy would have lost his job way yeah imagínate he's got like three strikes already yeah probably for the same offense desconectó la pinche the transponder y todo Try, try, try to find me now, putos. <laughs> <laughs> That's why you keep the door open. <laughs> shit, I should have. Oh, no shit. It opens the circuit, way. <laughs> That's what it is, dude. That's exactly what it was then. Oh, shit. Holy shit. Because I'll cerrar, yeah, boom. It picks up. Holy shit. So to them, he's on a car, way. Fucking. <laughs> <laughs> He's taking a fucking pinche yonka to man. I should have taken a picture of that fucking guy. Okay, the uh, Inland Empire and shit. <laughs> I should have taken a picture. <laughs> oh shit. shit! Dude, there's a lot of moments where like I should take a picture or a little video of this. Yeah, but yeah. I'm on like me da hueva. Yeah. <laughs> Man, that way about to fucking uh, uh, just that whole fucking doing this. Nah, I mean, I mean, I would feel bad if this poor dude lost his job. Way, I mean, <laughs> fuck, who am I to fucking write him out? But I just, I just did worry about him for a little bit. Way, <laughs> then I got jealous. Way, because he was, he looked like he was, he was, he was like three Inception he, dreams. He was in. on, he was on an, an Inception Part Eight. Way, <laughs> <laughs> fucking layers of dreaming. <laughs> he, was, he was in it, bro. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. He was so in it. He might need life support. <laughs> <laughs> Did you walk up and test his pulse? Ah, uh, fuck. No, I didn't get that close to him. Where <laughs> Shame, I don't want to startle the guy. Can Did you imagine you? somebody pulls up to you and be like, hey, 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 oh, <laughs> hey, 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 hey,
<laughs> and then you gotta wake up from every dream. Like, <laughs> 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 you didn't even get to enjoy your pie because you're like, this guy's yeah, dead. No, I'm like, fuck. Am I the only one watching this? I don't want to be accused of fucking killing this dude. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we got this van over here. <laughs> yeah. Aquí la cámara. There's an unmarked van right there. Yeah, seriously, bro. <laughs> see, see what I'm saying? <laughs> I <laughs> oh, yeah. Look at that sick battle. He's just smoking a pipe. Fucking <laughs> 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 the primary is al cien aquí. No, I feel like I should have taken a picture of him. <laughs> <laughs> I <Shit>. missed out. <laughs> no, no, but some shit just better like without fucking proof. Yeah, no, I, I don't want this poor guy to get fired. <laughs> Imagine that you make that call. Yeah, you got a... Uh, Got a driver over here at fucking <laughs> top of Lumi's. <laughs> not sure if he's alive or not. <laughs> hey, your fucking driver's over here parked at Sam's Hot Bar and he double parked. <laughs> fucking asshole. <laughs> <laughs> it's a strip bar. If, uh, you guys aren't familiar with the LA area. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I'm not like, I know Sam's. <laughs> what? What? He's like, I got all offended. Well, he got all offended and you explained it to him. I know, I know right? Sam's. I know. <laughs> you forget people listen to us, bro. Oh, shit. So, okay, ya estamos as uh, Oh, no. Yeah, yeah, vamos cortándole oh, porque this was a cow banger. Fuck yeah, bro. <laughs> this was a cow banger of an episode. Thank you guys for supporting us, man. I really appreciate the listen on this fucking journey. Yeah, the follows, the DMs, the shares. We'll, we'll do better next week. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, I don't know. I think this is a good one. Okay. Yeah, usually the ones that we don't think are good, people are like, oh, dude, that was fucking funny, bro. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, we'll see what happens. We have a couple of chuckles here and there. Yeah, it was good one. Yeah. So, Raza, please don't forget by supporting us, you help support our sponsors. Y todos nos ayudamos, todos nos levantamos. And we're able to keep bringing you this week after week. Yeah, so go follow the Firme Mezcal. Yeah. It comes in a brown bag so you can have some memories. There you go. Fucking if everybody says, I don't see brown bags anymore, fucking tell them, mira. Okay, I, I like to dispute that. Quita la mía, eh? Quita la mía for fucking memories, eh? Yeah. And um, if you want to catch up on news or, you know, see what's going on in the world, why don't you get yourself a Manscaped kit? It comes with its own little fucking <laughs> newspaper. <laughs> Is that how that works? <laughs> While you're trimming the guamados, you're catching up on the latest news, you know? I, I don't know. I don't, I don't want to see Biden, like, when I look down with... No, no, no. You, you choose. <laughs> weird way. You choose. Get yourself a fucking... Oh. Do the Tommy Lasorda. <laughs> <laughs> put the classifieds and then put the <laughs> you put the, the so, tanguita on top so of the statue somebody walks or whatever. in or whatever like hey I was reading the wanted ads eh? I don't want any emails from the Lasorda estate saying that I fucking <laughs> you're, you're, you're tainting his memory that they fucking for LIBOR or is it the no not uh, slander 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 yeah yeah so um, and also you know get yourself you know go visit uh, House of Chingas Give them a follow Check out the merch You know If you haven't The summer's coming These shirts are Summer's here bro Perfect for the summer Alright Apparently they're, they're good To fly with too eh? <laughs> Yeah <they're, laughs> Fuck yeah the, with, Definitely come out She's a starter You know So And um, get, order yourself Some cafecito También Pero también No se les olvide uh, Chicano Shuffle Also has merch You could go to our website And you could order Some camisas You could order Some coffee mugs For your cafecito And you know You help support The podcast También um, if you're not following on Patreon, you know, donate, help us. You get the exclusive um, live recording that we do, and you could like, you know, watch it before it comes out. Other than that, Freddie, what else do we got? I don't know. What else do we got? With well, it's Fourth of July. Do we please. need a cow bangers shirt? Yeah, we oh, should. <laughs> <laughs> it's Fourth of July, so please be careful. If you're gonna be one of those tronando los pinches cuetas culeros, make sure that you know you're safe and. Nobody gets hurt. Um, please, people, if you have pets, don't leave them out in the yard because they tend to run away and get hurt or something like that. Just, you know, try to do your best to keep them confined and protected. ¿Quién es el que decía spay and, spay and neuter? Oh, este <laughs> ba, uh, Bob Barker. Was it? <laughs> yeah. Fucking Price is Right. And um, other than that, pues, yeah, we're coming up to our 300. 300, yeah, casi llegamos al fin del año, too, yeah. al anniversary, bro. Yeah, so we're we're trying to see what we can do or cómo vamos a celebrar. Not the 300, the anniversary. The anniversary, no, yeah. Es yeah. So that's going to be in September, so we're already trying to think of places to, or ideas for our... Well, if we're going to be looking, we got to start. Yeah. 
So, con eso, just want to say thank you for everything. If you just started listening, if you've been a day oneer or you came in halfway or whatever, se agradece todo. And with that, al ratos with that, eh? Orale, pues. Nada steps. Espantan. Pues si no estamos dormidos, that was a good little jam to go to sleep to, güey. <laughs>